check, check. Where is everybody watching from? Finishing a couple things right here. Yep, please hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already, please. UK. Brazil. Awesome Texas. New Zealand, fantastic. Africa, amazing. Check, check. All right. They're running a couple behind, but we can, uh, we can get started here. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. I uh, just talked to uh, Reed, apparently there was a bit of a kind of a overrun meet and greet thing happening, of course, because the Dominator attracts a lot of attention. Uh, I think it's awesome that everybody is, you have so many people from around the world watching. It's so cool. Sarah Carter from New Zealand. Saw from somebody from Recife, if that's how you say it, Brazil. I think that's where all those sharks are. Kansas, Oregon. We'll get an update on just what was done to the uh, Dom 3 uh, to get it ready for today. Uh, but this is on the, uh, I get it. On this side uh, is is the uh, warning for today. Well, Jordan Hall is calling. One moment. Hello? Uh, it started five minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Copy that. Okay, we're going to see something up here in just a second. Okay. All right. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it independently. Reed uh, told me too, so I figured he had told you. 
Okay. All right, bud. Later. Kind of lost track of time at McDonald's, I guess. Uh, but let's see. Let's see those golden arches really fast here. Oh, there's Jordan. They're getting everything ready. So while they're getting that set, here is the area today, right? This is, These are the United States of America. Some of you are over here. Some of you are over here. Some of you are over here. A few over here and here. Um, and so this is, if we keep going in, the Rocky Mountains are right here, basically. Yeah, they're like right here. And so this whole area is, um, this is the enhanced rest area, this Northeast Colorado here. And this is, uh, Reed loves chasing here. I know that it's, it's generally flat out here. The road network is, is pretty decent. Um, this is, I think, the area where uh, Dr. Fujita saw his first tornado, too. Dr. Fujita, who the Fujita scale is named after. Um, so, yeah, this is the area today. And the SPC says, I'll just read you what the SPC has to say about this. SPC is the Storm Prediction Center. Um, there's an enhan enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms for northeast Colorado. Far southwest Nebraska, far northwest Kansas. Scattered severe thunderstorms capable of producing tornadoes, large to very large hail, and severe wind gusts will begin early to mid-afternoon near the Colorado Front Range and Central High Plains with a separate area tonight over the Southern High Plains. The most intense storms are expected over northeast Colorado towards the Kansas and Nebraska border vicinities. So right there, so these guys... Who's this dude? I don't know. <laughs> Go to uh, read here. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like, I still don't understand the people flipping out about Denver being capped. Mm -hmm. Like, Denver hasn't surfaced yet, it's over, it's capped. Mm -hmm. Who cares about fucking mm -hmm. Denver? No, no. Sorry about the language there. Um, okay. That was a Ridge Rider up there. Um, we'll fix the language. We like to think of this as a PG-13 thing here. here in Colorado in probably four years. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like the Ray Colorado setup all over again, 2016. You're here in the Dominator 3. Got the Ridge Riders here, too. Yes, Should we all dominate Big Mac for good luck? Yeah. Maybe I should go and get a Big Mac. Uh, seemed like it took They're really good. Seemed like it took quite a while in there though. So like mm -hmm. a line? No. I ordered it and got sidetracked. Uh, with a meet and greet. Dude, I don't get still not. It's still nice. It's supposed to be falling and open. So. It's uh, 25 let's go in here. Just set it on top, yeah. It's about $25,000. About to break the $25,000 to Jared. I'm, I'm holding a brick of gold. <laughs> Damn <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, I'm gonna turn it on, Brian. Uh, so I, I cut away because I heard Reed saying this is the uh, biggest threat to Colorado in four years, he just said there. Um, which, you know, if, if you know anything about kind of the macro weather patterns here, which I, I very... I know a little bit is that La Nina lasts for years. And right now we have a declining La Nina. So the La Nina has kind of been blocking a lot of big weather events kind of in, in tornado alley here. You know, there's certainly been tornadoes in the past few years, but now with La Nina declining, it seems like things are ramping up a bit. And as it continues to decline, things will could continue to ramp up. Um, so that might have something to do with what Reed is saying there, uh, that this is kind of, uh, well, there we go. Airport where there's a, a dirt road where we can see the sky and everything, but we do expect the storm to come off the Palmer divide 
and probably work its way up toward the airport or north of the airport. Likely a big time tornado could impact with like the Fort Morgan area toward Brush. And then I think they're gonna develop one by one off to the east, crossing the boundary, just going nuts one after another. This uh, reality is, I don't, you don't have to wait for me to finish eating. I have to multitask, so don't worry about it. Can I take a picture inside? Oh, yeah. Can you go from the storm chasing team? Yeah. Is this just like Timber? Yeah. Have you guys ever been I've never, shot in a like storm? A, like a How are you? It's like, like multiple storm chasing, but... Mm, I can't. Around, but no. Chase, I can't oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. If you can do it while I'm eating, then yeah, I'll help. Definitely. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can I ask one question? Mm -hmm. Have you guys been stuck in a storm where you have had to put it down? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a couple days ago, even in Missouri. Oh, really? Where at Missouri? Uh, west of Linnaeus. I don't know where that is. I'm from Missouri. Mm. So it doesn't, it, I mean, it, you can't possibly get hurt in this? Or mm, can you? We could, yeah. Oh, yeah, we possibly could. But. Thank we you. try not to, so yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting me talk to you. Oh, yeah. Good, Yeah. Just a little bit of drill center. I guess I'll let you know. Photo? Yeah, we get money from it. Is that right? Mm hmm. Ooh. I can take that answer. Could you take a photo for a yeah. All right, guys, while he is uh, taking some photos, I will kind of. I'll tap in here. I'll tap in here for a second. So we are, we might go find a dirt road where we can get a good view of the sky, but there could be a storm that fires up uh, near Denver International Airport and tracks to the Northeast here in Northeast Colorado. But we are a little worried about further off to the East as well. There could be another storm near Ray, Colorado, which is a very famous tornado back in 2016. You gotta keep an eye out. It could turn into a classic Ray day today. So we are trying to keep both plays in line right now, uh, looking at the models, looking at this blue sky we now have here in front of us. It could be a very active day for tornadoes, especially after today going into tomorrow. But, but uh, yeah. But today definitely has the feels of a Ray oh, Colorado day. Already, so let me get Sierra out of yeah. there and then uh, we'll go from there. But today does have a yeah big time feel for like a Ray Colorado day. A Ray or Otis Colorado type day. So. You'll see the taillights disappearing. Look out. Just kidding. Even like a tornado chaser? You got me twice. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the Dominator 3. Hey, How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're going to head to a rural area and then watch some fire, so. <coughs> Right, head to a rural area? Yes. I'll just have a little outside. Find a county road, maybe. Man, I inhaled that nugget. Oh, boy. Man. Yeah. Okay, I yeah, we'll find a place. Okay. Find a quick place. That works for me. Are you finding a rural place? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta take a picture of the bottom. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna get spotted. We're gonna get spotted by Celsius. We bought a ton of Celsius. Just to okay. Take a picture of the top. It's gonna go to Celsius. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. That sounds Starting good. Starting route to Ray. Picture I'm gonna cut. Yeah. Okay. Take three. 
it's like twenty three dollars. She's like, bro, you got seven dollars off. We like, gotta back up and get the whole vehicle. <laughs> so guys, they were mentioning the Ray Colorado tornado. This is it. This is Reed's footage from Ray, Colorado. It's one of the craziest tornadoes. And usually the models don't do very well with these high plane setups, but we've obviously got a west to east oriented boundary that's setting up. And the morning HRRR has definitely shown that storm coming off the Palmer Divide. We also have to watch out for northwest Kansas, southwest Nebraska, and any of these storms that develop in the well mix there and hit that boundary are going to have a chance to produce. <laughs> Looks crazy tomorrow too, like May 3rd all over again. That's the risk tomorrow. This is the enhanced today. Let me show you what the meso analysis looks like here. I'll show you what it looks like here. This is the SBC meso analysis we're looking at. Surface low coming together, west east boundary, even a Denver cyclone there a little bit is going to come together at the low levels. Watch when I step forward to 23Z. See this boundary, that convergent boundary that's setting up right there. Southerly to the south of it, east northeasterly to the north of it. And you should have these storms just coming off the Palmer Divide. Look at that funnel action through the into the Palmer Divide. Denver could even get impacted. But it's these west to east boundaries that set up in Colorado that end up producing storms will develop down here in the well mixed air, hit that boundary of moisture and just go nuts. Just like Ray, Colorado, everybody. Got the subsonic sensor ready to deploy. GPS is hooked up. What's going on down here? Flight. And Flex Seal, flood protection team. Got the hat back out, Old Faithful again, growing a little lettuce in the back. But uh, yeah, here we go. And we use Flex Tape and Paste to waterproof the back. We have some leakage out there. We have a little broken Lexus. Pay $25 for six drinks, but you know what? You guys ready? <laughs> Dominating that big man. Hey, guys. There he is, Dan Fitz. There he is. There he is. How's it going? Good. Long time no see. Yes. How are you? Good. You think it's going to go big out here? Got potential. Got yeah, big hail? I'm after the hail. <laughs> Skyball's app. I heard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Damn. <laughs> Unless they fix that. Hi. Not yet. Good to see you. <laughs> There's Dan. Man, you think it's going to come right off the Palmer? Or do you think it'll be something east that develops and crosses that boundary? Oh, you got two, two choices back here or out there. I'm choosing back here. Yeah, same here. Uh, <laughs> I like the skies too. Yeah, it's starting to get bubbly. Yeah. Um, Are you starting to break that drought at all up there? Or? Little bit? Little bit. We finally got our first rain just last night. Yeah. Forever. Wow. So, yeah. So, which is why I'm here. Otherwise, yeah. I'd still be there. Yep. Fan. This is Dan Fitz, everybody. Absolute legend in the hail game and high plains tornadoes. Everything. Where can people follow you? <laughs> Twitter. Just Dan <laughs> underscore Fitz, I think is what it is. Nice. <laughs> so. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come out. All right, so going back to this, you guys have to go check it out for yourself. By the way, I kind of need to remaster this footage. This needs color correction. But this is the Ray Tornado. I was not there for this, but this thing is absurd. Inching closer to it again. Yeah, it was a whole, just an absurd tornado. 
What's your name? Dan. 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 Go for a walk here. Got to show off Dan's vehicle. Turn right onto West Marketplace Drive. Then turn left. Look at that. Dan fits his car. Yeah. Wow. That's just. We'll go back to it. I think he's just too far away from the vehicle. Oh, now we're good. Um, yeah, so I think it's just, it's a range thing. We have our hotspot thing inside the Dom 3. Oh, wow. He's got the auxiliary. <laughs> We'll go to them when the stream is steady again. But here's Ray again. I think this is real time here. There's Jaden Pappenheim. Great young chaser. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. somebody. Big fan. The CIA here is a big fan here. Well, this is Jeff Petrowski, by the way, everybody. <laughs> I'm a big fan, too, obviously. I have been for 30 years. <laughs> We're both fans of each other. <laughs> Here's Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. How are you doing? Where are you from? Uh, Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So how long have you been chasing? Um, actually, probably in like six months now. So, yeah. 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 Start dating and start chasing. Oh, that's right. You're, you're, you're together. That's right. Yeah. We ran together together. Yeah. That's right. I remember. I remember all you guys. But when we started talking, she's like, oh, I always watch Jeff. And I'm like, yeah, Jeff's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's a hero. Legend. He, pioneer of the up close storm chase. Yeah, for sure. I love watching the original. They're the original. I don't know about the original, but sometimes it just happens that way, right? Are we yeah. filming? Yeah, but I'm, I'm purpose. I'm showing some respect to you, though, by filming that. Oh, way. it's fine. You can film me, too. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> this is live. Oh, hey, yeah. everybody. Where, oh, can here, people, where can people follow you? Reed, Petrosky. Uh, Terry Shank. You got the Terry Shank. How's it going? How are you doing, Joe? How are you? Good, good. Good, good. good to yeah, see you. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, so. What's your name? Brandon Montgomery. Oh, Brandon. Okay. okay. What do you think about today? I like it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's nice and clear, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It'll just come right off the Palmer Divide. Get into that heat, and I like the, the latest HRR, the three. Yeah. One, one down south coming out of Wilmington. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, the wrap is showing maybe a little further south of those backed winds, even. Yeah, the hunt is a known area for him to track it. Looks like he's got a rental. Yeah, yeah. You like it bigger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to get down there, aren't we? It'll be a push by. We'll probably be so excited after what happens today that'll be an easy drive for us, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. You ever notice that guy's always on the phone? Yeah. He's always oh, yeah. on Yeah, he's always, <laughs> always dominating. He is. Yeah. Where they where he get yeah. You got energy, but man, he does. Oh, he, has, yeah. he has more than me. <laughs> he just he, he nonstop. He, he I, I, I tell you what, I don't know you've been around him much, but he'll he'll look at four or five models, and and, and, I, and I'm still trying to figure out one panel. Yeah. Oh, he'll say, did you see it at 700 millibar level? You know, 500. But over on the HR, this did this. Yeah. And over here on this. I mean, he'll, he'll he's got a photographic. He camera. does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, he's incredible. Yeah. 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 Always been my hero, so I've been chasing with him since '98. Wow, yeah. oh, he's on his way out. Of oh, is he? Yeah, I just out here today. Hey, he, no, he didn't make it, he didn't come early. Dave. Yeah, he's gonna he'll be here tomorrow, and then uh, yeah. Yeah. Nebraska probably. Yeah, it's awesome to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. good luck today, and uh, good luck. Yeah. Say hi to everybody if you want to. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> one of the originals here, yeah. the man, the man. The legend! Right here. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.
guys? Hey, how's it going? Good, how about you? How are you? We've never met before. How's it going? I know. Hi, it's really great to See that it's uh it's a brotherhood and sisterhood uh you know I, it was like i've never met you and then they they hug so they just they they follow each other a lot and you saw jeff petrowski there i i know reed is a huge fan so you heard him that's his that's his hero jeff petrowski is like the laird hamilton <laughs> there it is yeah, still bump these. That'll put the spikes down, oh, and then shit. this is the. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How was top speed? Oh, we can get up over a hundred. <coughs> Excuse oh, me. Shit. I slotted a chicken nugget down the wrong hole yeah, earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally, the high plains are back, aren't yeah, they? This is wild. Yeah. Here, two last week, this was great. Grass, I was able to get well, grass on that. So yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, this, What's is, the this is epic, dude. I'm so glad you guys got this back of the room. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It brings so much happiness and joy to the internet. Oh, thanks. Yeah. They were using it too, what it's supposed to be used for. Yeah. They're accepting the tornado, so it may so not nice. last much longer, but it's well, here. Well, well, but it's the rocket launcher up there at the roof. Yeah, are you guys going to be Are you guys gonna be deploying? I want to shoot rockets again, but Mark, Mark is still uh, up in Canada too, and he's okay. uh, it might be next year before we start shooting sensors right, again, right. but we're deploying the subsonic. The Whoa. infrasound there, it, so we got the pressure apps and everything. Dude, I'm just so impressed with this thing. It is so, it is so epic in every sense of the word. Thank it's you. absolutely astonishing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so it's proud that somebody you, decided to build. I know it really is. Yeah, yeah. I wish we could build something like this for my page. I, I mean, sure, yeah. I'm yeah. just a realtor. I don't do any of this. Okay. Do you want me to take it, or do you want to yeah, take that'd it? That'd be awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. There's a torn rotator cuff. It's not very uh -oh. selfie yeah, friendly. I got one of those. I had one of those. Yeah. All right, one, two, three, tornadoes. All right, there you go. Yeah, awesome, man. Yeah, that's no problem. Good to see you. Hey, dude, I'm going to let you do your thing. You I'm want to gonna, see some of the best hair. photographers in the game. They're right here. Yeah. Oh, no, she's yeah. right here. She's not. She's not hugging <laughs> yeah. And they helped out big and with the fire. The storm does all yeah. the work. I yeah. did the camera. Yeah. Well, where can people follow your work? <laughs> Ghost Train Photo. Well, how do you, what is it? Ghost Train Photo. <laughs> yes. On Twitter? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, where else? And uh, Instagram, same handle. Yeah. Yep. So. If you want to see some amazing photos, check it out. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, Reed. Well, <laughs> best of luck. Yeah, great to see you. Likewise. Good luck tonight. Or stop chasing. <laughs> Reed. Oklahoma tomorrow? Stop chasing. Yeah. Stop <laughs> okay. I need to yeah. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. F5. It's coming. There it is. It's going to hit. <laughs> it's going to hit. It's nice to see you. Watch two years ago at the discovery. Thank you. So where the storm's going to be at? Could be right around here, but... Yeah, they'll East probably come off the mountains and then head up toward Fort Morgan. They could be hailers in downtown Denver, I think. But oh, sure. that's where we're staying. Yeah, you know, tornado threat as they move a little off to the northeast. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah thanks for the heads up. Yep. Yeah. Good luck. Well, Be hey, careful. Yeah. Have a great one. Good luck. Yeah. Stay safe. Thanks. Never stop chasing. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. The weather titans here. <laughs> Rapid Hagen's here. Ready? I am. Yeah. Is there anything coming off the Palmer yet? No. They got they got initiated to our south. Yeah. We saw that already. Big cast. Jeez, come on, guys. They make concrete like they used Jeez, to. Jeez, Ridge Riders. Whoa, oh, not oh, on the oh, screen. That's not me. <laughs> there we go. Oh yes, it's already happening. Already bubbling off the Palmer there. Your Castle Rock. It's already bubbling, guys, to our south. We probably. Weaponagan! There he is! Good to see you back in our hood. Yes, brother. back. How are things? Good, how are you? Good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you. Glad to be killing it, ladies. You're doing such a good job, man. Oh, thanks. I love it. Yeah. Thanks. Got the old wheel. Hi, oh, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. We, uh, we're kind of assigned to babysit the Metro a little bit. Yeah. So, I don't think that's a bad thing today. 
Yeah, you know, uh, I'm hoping that nothing really bad happens so I can yeah, play, a play a little bit. Oklahoma but, tomorrow, maybe. Oh man, that would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> I might make it out to the state line tomorrow. Yeah, that's about as far as I can go. But nice. Yeah, you yeah. still look like you're dominating out here. Oh, we've been having fun, man. It's been a good year. Yeah. So far. Yeah, now the high plane should really pick up, right? Oh, it seems oh, like it, doesn't it? Yeah. The only thing I'm missing this year was the prairie blizzard. Oh, yeah. Didn't get one of those, but... Yeah, that's right. I've no had Colorado a lot of fun, lows. Maybe next spring that'll happen. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, a little more of a mature El Nino. Yeah. So you're, you're back in the rig? Yeah, yeah, we got it back. The Dominator 4 I lost in that Hurricane Ian surge, so... Yeah. But I, I got the hood off, you know, off of it. I've got a new Subaru and still have the apartment here. I just haven't seen oh, it in do. a few years. Yeah. Okay. So I've been watching my mom through the last couple of years. Good deal, brother. Gizmo's been out there. So I might come back for this summer. <laughs> the high plane's insane. Now it's back. So uh, I can I come back. It. Yeah, hopefully it keeps you well entertained. So we'll see you, see you a lot out here. Yeah. Yeah, I missed the big snow here this year, but would have been fun to ski some of that. Yeah. So, well, with, with, with Dixie Alley's going nuts, what are you going to do, right? Where can people follow you on social? Yeah, so uh, follow me on Twitter. Yeah. C Rep at Nine News. C Rep Weather. Uh, legend of storm chasing here in Colorado. Man, I try to keep it interesting. I'm glad Colorado can keep it interesting as well. So, yeah. uh, it's always fun to see all you guys back up in here. You know yeah, what I mean? fun to be back. Yeah. It's a great network. Yeah. I haven't seen you forever. What up, Here bro? comes Dan Fitz. There he is. Got a chase. <laughs> Got visual. <laughs> picture, that was it. That's I had two meals at McDonald's already today. So, two two yeah. meals in one day. That's for the third time. <laughs> 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 I moved to Norman. Yeah. Right. Probably not a good idea. There. How are you, brother? Good. How are you doing? Good, man. Good. good to see you, bro. Good to see you, too. Been a while. It's good to see yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's like social media. Yeah, I know. I uh, last year I come out to the loves and knowledge. So uh, if you, some of you guys are wondering like what's happening on the stream right now, basically they're, they're waiting for um, the storms to start. The storms were supposed to kind of start bubbling up a little bit earlier. Now you just heard Reed um, as he showed on radar and I could show you on radar here too. But once things start bubbling... And you see, this is kind of what Reed was talking about. We getting little little storms are starting to bubble up here. I remember that the biggest threat's kind of in this area, but as these are bubbling up, that means that the, the surface of the Earth is getting warmer. It's going to start to fuel these things, and you know, you just see all these chasing legends all in one spot here. You know that this could be a very big day. Um, so that's the thing. We're kind of these guys are have strategically placed themselves it relative to where the storms may be. Again, you heard each of them say there's kind of two options today. Um, here we go. Somewhere else, who knows? I can go for whatever. Yeah, I'm starting. That's our storm already. Bubblers. Oh, it's yeah. that simple. That ship. Well, it's easier out here. I'm gonna have to get a dog got to an, back on television. Got an immovable, bo immovable boundary out there. The mountains. Yeah, there every yeah. day, no matter what. It's a nice, gentle slope. Little, little uh, rising magic. Yeah. What did we say? Hey, Reed. Say hi. Hi. I don't know you, but hey, yeah. how's it going? How are you guys? We have a friend. I've come all the way from New Zealand. Good night, nice to meet you. We have a friend who has a huge, huge fan of you. She actually has cancer. Oh no! I'm not making that up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she here? Or? We, no, we passed you a few years ago, and she got like freaked out. Yeah. Say hi to Deb. Yeah, yeah. Can we video real quick? Sure. And say hi yeah, to Deb? for sure. Yeah. Okay. Where's she based? She, no, it's fine. She's, she's in New York. She's in New York, yeah, just like... You have to live stream it. Over here. Hi there, Deb. Just wanted to say, never stop chasing. We're out here near the Denver Cyclone, waiting for the Palmer Divide, which is already percolating right now. Expect that storm to intensify. Come right through here, interact with this west east boundary. Deep moisture here in the high plains. 50 Uh, so that's cool. More New Zealand fans. That's cool. Do you guys like, 
I find it interesting for the New Zealanders and the Kiwis, I believe is the right term. Hopefully it's not like derogatory uh, for the New Zealanders in the chat. Why, why are you guys interested in severe weather in, in the U S it's awesome that you are, and we're happy to share it with you, but I just seen uh, several people from uh, New Zealand in the chat. I've only just, blown through it and it looked gorgeous. It did look like the Lord of the Rings. Um, so I'm definitely going back there. Hold on one. One moment here. Poland, France. Sorry, I got a live stream going through. Sorry, but uh, I accidentally hit the uh, uh, the stop button. But yeah, we're dominating here. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is, guys. It's it's gonna move like right yeah. right up to where we are. Yes, sir. Yeah, Detroit Lions fan here. I see. Oh. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Do you think we should wait for that sound or get aggressive with it? So you could, you could go south and go, go down towards oh, yeah. Iowa to go Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see you, brother. Yeah. Have a good one. Good see you, Corey. Get one? Good to see you, man. Yeah. Well, I'll see more of it through the summer. Yep. Hopefully. We yeah. got to go find a good road here in a few minutes. Hey, real quick picture. Yeah. Okay. Where's the stream? I'll take the stream. I'll do three. Thank, you, Thank you. Yeah. Always yeah. good to see a Michigander. Yeah. I can run the street I'm from Ohio, though, so I don't think it's going to take All right. All right, guys. I'm going to take it over while he does some more meet and greets. We're going to get out of here here very soon. Yeah. I, yeah. We're going to go. I'll take him home to lunch. She, she said we got to leave. No, she, she said we could stay. Oh, man. Well, yeah. yeah. I, I told him. I told him. Yeah. All right, you getting things geared up back here, Sierra? I am. I'm just getting tidied up. Do you have the drone ready almost? I do. Okay, perfect. I'm going to get the gripper for me once we get on the road and stuff. Yeah, hand it to me. I'll throw it away. We're about ready to roll out. All right. Yes. I'm going to say hi to Jaden quick. About ready to roll? Yeah. Okay. How's Brandon Montgomery feel on a scale of 1 to 10 on seeing tornadoes today? I'm going with about an 8.4. Perfect. 8.4. Out of 10? Out of 10. Copy that. All right, we're getting ready to rock and roll out of here. Get on. Rolling. Get it, man. Yeah, see you later. Well, I'll see you today, but good luck. Yeah. Yeah. See you around. <laughs> you guys out. You see what happens. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Yeah. All right. Let's rock. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and throw you back up there. We already got shirt. Well, that's like a bomb. We got a couple here coming out. They're divide for sure. Uh, Coverings is a pure divide storm. Look at it go. <laughs> it's just cranking. So we already got storms going off the terrain. These are going to hit Denver probably. So look at that completely cleared out northeast Colorado. Yeah. So gotta keep an eye on everything today. I don't want to Watkins or something even. Watkins is a little west, closer to the airport. But. Okay. This is a good road. See, there's a north-south road. It is a good road east of the airport, but if it goes west of the airport. Yeah, we'll okay, there's this uh, highway right here. Yeah, right here. Up here. Yeah, we can go do that. Right. North and then west. Good idea. Yeah, we see it. I don't want to get baited right? either. I know, yeah. I know, I know. Do we need, does this need to be in there? It, it, it does because it has the extra battery and then I use it to uh, okay. take it the just, extra battery. It was just on the floor. So oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I probably got distracted. You, yeah. yeah, if we can keep that up front too, that'd yeah, be ideal. I'll, just I'll put it right here. It gets better data. Do you have real time and H&H on? Uh, I don't, yeah, I do have real time on. I don't have H&H &H yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, do you have the other Sony? Or Sony? Okay. No. It's in my backpack. It's in my, it's in the big 
Don't have to take my backpack. All right, started, Brian. Got that started. Here we go. What are you thinking? Celsius picture came up good. I haven't looked yet. Clear. You are. Just pulled out. Go for it. They can wait for you to turn. Yeah, we could just go a little north if you want, but I mean, those storms are coming from the south, but we gotta get a little breather, start looking at stuff. Yeah, I don't want to. At the stop don't want to get baited too much either. To south the well, they need to hit that boundary, but yeah. they, they come off the Palmer Divide and then they hit the moisture and produce. It's Instantly. not, it's not it's, complicated. It's quick, yeah. <laughs> it is not complicated. You got it. Focus time now. Yep. Bennett. Uh, almost. In one mile, turn right onto Sorry. East Colfax Avenue. Yes, here. Look at those skies, everybody. We've already got anvils coming off the mountains. Look at the anvils out there. Well, if they push it off east, yeah, the meridian on storm motion means they might develop off to our southeast and hit the boundary. If they do develop off the of Palmer, turn right, they should kind of head toward the airport. We're definitely in a good prime environment. East release here. What's the service the temperature? Stop sign. Look at turn right, right now. How are oh, the car? Yeah, it's pretty sixty. Sitting at right six, sitting at right, uh, sixty degrees. At the stop sign, turn right onto East Colfax Avenue. And if you guys, and I just want to say one more time how awesome it is to have everybody from around the world here. Really cool. It's just kind of setting in how, how, how many uh, different countries we have here. So uh, in the description below the video, we have a link to this, which is Highways and Hailstones. It's a really cool uh, app. Uh, it's a web uh, app for iPhone for storm chasers. And we they got a special feed for us just showing Reed's location. And you could track it along with the storms too. Uh, so if you want to open that in another tab while you're watching this, that uh, there you go. Use the right lane to keep oh, right sure onto Palmer Avenue. Yeah, all right there. That's it. Yeah, that's okay. the boundary. Yeah, well, it's, uh, so I, what? So I think feeling? they can produce pretty quickly off the Palmer. Like you don't want to go north. north. I mean, I'm just going north to find like a, a, a dirt quiet road spot park. for yeah. a second. Yeah, I got home blade again. Inside. Shouldn't be one too far up here, so should be. What's up, Johnny? Nice. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty a little closer to the Palmer Divide, so I'm out here at Bennett. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Last thing, I need to say this all the time. Please do not use this to chase Reed. Like, don't track Reed down. Like, if you're watching this stream and trying to figure out where he is so you can meet up with him, don't do that. If you uh, if you want to, go on the roadside, check out the Dom, give a honk. Very cool. But especially now as storms are firing, you need to be paying attention to a hundred different things. You gotta be looking at the sky, you gotta be looking at the latest models, the latest scans and everything. And when people are just constantly coming up, it's it's really difficult. And Reed is the nicest guy on the planet. But I'm saying it. Please give Reed space today. Because today is, it's important. 
So we're headed out, you know, we got about 10 vehicles following us too. And, but we're headed just a little bit to the northeast of Bennett and then uh, just trying to find a dirt road to get, get some good, get some thinking in about this setup and kind of get in tune with our gut. I figured you didn't, but yeah, but I'd like to meet up with you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could do that, no problem, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yes, and. I forgot. Thank you, everybody in chat for reminding me. Hit that like, please. We got 7,500 people in here. We only have 2,500 likes. Let's get to 5,000 likes. It's really, really important at the start of streams um, to get that like number up and to keep it building as we build. Um, so if you're enjoying this, and we're going to keep improving this. I say this all the time. We're going to keep improving this. I know that the guy that we don't have a nice full frame of everybody in the car and i know that we have a giant mount right here we're gonna keep improving that so also consider becoming a member but for right now please just like it let's get up to five let let's do a like rally Good to see you on your birthday especially are you and lloyd together nice fantastic yeah Yeah. Yeah, sorry about the other day. You're, you were in Des Moines, and I spent the whole night on the side of the road there in Nebraska City, and then I got like an hour of sleep, and I, I was pretty pretty attached to Omaha there. I wasn't able to move, but. Yeah, I figured you were probably meeting up with some other people, but. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me to. It's hard for me to justify that six-hour round-trip drive with the Dominator having so many problems. That, oh, I know. I want to see you too. Yeah, I, I just would need you to probably come a little closer to Omaha back then. But. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was at, Yeah, it was awesome running into him there in northern Missouri. I'm a big fan of Chris Hill, too. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, I bet those were good. Wow. Yeah, they are good. I love morals. Morels. Yeah, I used to pick them in uh, Michigan there, too, in the early season. It's good stuff. Yeah. All right, well, we're just watching these come off the mountains now. So I got a, I got a live stream started already, and uh, I'll, I'll send you a pin up here. Yeah, we're already watching the animals that are just coming off the uh, the mountains. All right, man. Drive safe. We'll see you out here in a few. Never stop chasing. Yeah, I figured we could get up here on the road, face south away from the highway, away from people. Mm -hmm. And then you can see and get back south if you want to. So yeah. just get the focus. Yeah. Oh, it's got a special weather statement. It's already rotating pretty well. I was looking at it. It's already got easterly streaming into it. Look at that inflow. Yeah. I saw that, yeah. It's moving. The storm already looks nuts. So don't worry about, we can get aggressive with these too. The boundary is definitely setting up a little further south. Yeah, we can do that if you want. But we can always wait for it too if you want to hit the moisture. It's going to have to turn right a little bit too. And they're not moving fast today, I don't think, are they? Uh, not too fast, yeah. We do want to stay to these east-west roads where we can pick one after another as they move east. But... Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it looks good on GR, too. Yeah. It's a pretty lot hard to get down to, like, Ponderosa Park area and stuff. But they, they'll, they'll just be coming this way. You can always wait for them if you guys want. To you. And to you, yeah. It's definitely starting to turn right, but it's going to have to probably get up here anyway before it produces. This is the intersection we can point south on if you'd like, or wherever you want. Oh, yeah. Just get out of the way from the highway. Yeah. So. I wish we had the football. I am. Yeah. Got you. Uh, 
Alrighty. The mountains are so much moisture you can't even see the mountains. It's surprising, yeah, we isn't it? A lot of cars. We, do we? Why are, are they following? Who are those? Two? I don't know who they are. We can talk. We'll talk to them. Yeah. When you turn south, I'll talk. I know, I know Connor and Brandon are behind us. It's probably okay as long yeah. as it doesn't become an issue, but it, it will be. It, it can be good one. Yeah. At least we have more room to work on. Oh here. yeah, we're okay. Then, those uh, guys. We're all right. Yeah. <laughs> if we only those kept back roads in Iowa, we're probably we're the hard part. That's okay, though. No, who that is? No, it's not. Who's that? Oh, well, I have to have a little talk. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Oh, here. You want a longer one? I, have... oh, I just need one for this, too. I here, do you want this one? Oh, sure. Okay. It's a fast Hold charger, it. too. Yeah, appreciate it. That one's plugged in. You guys have another cell space back there? Yep. Ooh, gotcha. we brought a you shit. actually do? I, I, we Thank bought you. a ton. Thanks. Okay. I got you. I'm the guy with the drinks, man. Jeez, come on. What? Yeah, that. blame me. Yeah, they should go here. Yeah, they go. Oh, yeah. Southwest, right? watching these storms. It's already rotating. I just, I just don't. don't like these cords Service map shows that boundary setting up pretty far south, doesn't it? Yeah. I just have a cord. Storms up. already have east release. Oh, it's splitting a bit, yeah, but yeah, it'll probably just keep going up here, don't you think? Come right to us almost, yeah. Yeah. It'll take a few hours, but we might have to end up blasting south. See the road to Kiowa. All right, so let's see if we could uh, kind of see what, what storms uh, they're talking about here. They were saying that one of them is rotating. Looks like they're back. I'll be back in a few. I'm gonna activate the GPS on this. Is there any way? Is my computer my computer's in the back, right? Yeah, if I it's in the way it. back, I can run back and pop the hatch. The hatch, hatch don't open. Right okay. <laughs> can you just grab my computer out of it? Yes, we can. Yeah, it's okay. That tweet worked pretty good the other day. Yeah. yeah. Once we get on the storm. It, yeah, once we start hook slicing, <laughs> separate who's real and who's not. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, we had nobody back there. No, nobody. <laughs> what, that was a nasty hook too. It was terrible. <laughs> I don't even blame Avery for not. That was bad. Jaden kept oh, going, and I was like, eh. and then I saw Jaden coming back, and I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you would have lost. I turn around. <laughs> you would have lost you the side around. window if you would have kept going. That was good. <laughs> I wouldn't have done I, I, I wouldn't know, have I know the boundary. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tornado <laughs> watch protect, issue. Protect that spot right there. Tornado watch. Yeah. <laughs> tornado watch. Tornado watch. A few tornadoes possible. Scatter tail up to apple size. Light. Apples? What's All the right, problem? I got to do an as light. Stand by. Hey. How big's an apple? Thank you. <laughs> It's about the size of an apple. <laughs> you have, like it. have you ever seen the porn of the suicide door? Ooh, we're already connected to GPS. Great news, everybody. I just turned on the subsonic. Jaden Papp and I am here Hello, everybody. in my home turf today. Lived in Colorado ever since I was born, so it's great to be in the backyard. Where can everybody follow you? Carl, Facebook, yeah. Twitter, YouTube. Yeah. Those are my main platforms. Just look up Storm Chaser Jaden Pappenheim on all of them. You can find me there. Nice. Do you think it's going to go be the our storm of the day has already formed? I think it may have, yeah, just south of here. Yeah. But uh, you definitely yeah, keeping the northern mode in play, too. Like we were talking about earlier, it may, it may be out by Yuma and Akron, but that boundary is going to go south. Definitely. Yeah, on play of the day. And you're going to be capturing the most valuable follow shot of the Dominator yes. 3? The goal for me today yeah, is to get these guys driving yeah, into the tornado. That's, that's my lifetime goal. goal. Nice. I did, too. All right, what's happening? What up? I'm really surprised. There's Connor with the Ridge Riders. What's up, stream? Ridge Riders! Yeah. Watch your mouth! It, we're alive. Yeah, you can't say that shit on stream. <laughs> I, I read hook slice the other day in Kroll. We got friggin' RFD shirt. <laughs> Good, I miss front. 100 mile an hour golf ball. Yeah. <laughs> Watch for the breed. Not as prolific a hail producer as we saw in Tulia, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> Is 
zero, zero missed goal. That's ridiculous. Didn't hit anybody on the wrist this time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Our store probably is already formed, but it's not in a great environment. I do. Oh my god. See the inflow, easterly inflow into it. The right movers kind of trying to keep it keeps splitting. One will peel off, that one will peel off, next one will go. Eventually this conglomerate is gonna make it up. But we gotta also develop into the west of Colorado Springs. Well, could be a debris plug day today. I do agree with. Ooh, La Junta. You guys see that La Junta storm? There's a bubbler out near La Junta moving due north. It's going to hit the boundary. It's coming to Lyman Deer Trail. We're good. Watch this storm, guys. That La Hunta storm's going to uh, Lyman. Storm going up at Colby. Storm going up south of Colby, too. Yes, so they are, uh, here is this box right here. This is the tornado watch that has just gone up. You could get a good idea of who's athletic from these uh, from these down moments here. This is Brian right here. Brian just uh, looks like he had a pretty nice spiral on his throws. Um, but anyway, so this is the uh, tornado watch area here. You hear them read saying that the storms are going up, but you know, hey, this one isn't in a good environment. Here, one sec. Yeah, we got two easterlies all the way down into Lyman, yep. and this storm is coming up from La Junta. Down here, oh, yeah. La Junta's just going to move due north. It's going to go right nuts. Down this one could go nuts, too. But that one needs to turn right, though. Yeah, I'd have to turn right, and I, I think, think the, the moisture is yeah. better down here. So I'll just, I'll just show you. So this is like the satellite images the last couple hours. You see that here is there's nothing there, and then suddenly, like, whoosh, all this stuff starts happening. Um, and so that's the moment we're at, and these are going to continue to go big and pretty soon you'll start to see some of these, you'll start to see some of these ones in the middle here get bigger and bigger and then anvil out and kind of make it, they hit the bottom of the troposphere. Anyway, I'll get out of the way while they talk. Down here, and the obs are amazing down near, down near Lyman, but you know, I obviously don't want to. You know, bypass this one coming right at us, but but boy, this one is really healthy and it's moving into that deeper moisture. It's gonna hit Lyman. Mm -hmm. There's already one going up near Colby too, so I think we're just gonna have supercells all over the place. But that Lyman one, the odds the odds are a little bit better. It could be this one, you know. Like these always produce like spouts and stuff here, big hail. But that Lyman one can do it. Oh, and it's okay. and look at the clearing. It yeah, look at, look at the it's yeah. all clear. It's all clear and clear look at the uh, 69 over 51 in Lyman. So mm -hmm. the boundary's right here. So basically, that thing will just keep going. It'll hit that, and it's going to go berserk just like right. These could these are northeasterlies though, so it, they could produce tornadoes up here too. But that's definitely the. I see, and you got this cell firing up here. They hit this boundary and produce. That's what Ray did. It developed down here. Boom, hit it. The next one went boom, hit it. This one, boom. They might all do it. 
including the Colby one spot. And this one's in the middle. Coming right into that 69 over 51 here. I just like all the clearing out. I do too. And yeah, this one might be a little cold. Yeah. But I agree. I, it you would know, be a bit of a gamble, but sometimes you have to gamble. Really, these, these I days. think that's what it is. I'm, I'm all in for linemen. Mm -hmm. I think so. I would agree. You agree? I'm glad you agree, too. <laughs> I don't think there's... No, I didn't agree. I probably should. I don't think there's chasing. a right and a wrong call. <laughs> what if, not, what I if I wanted to stay with the cold hailer? That's up to you, man. Then I would be like, have fun. <laughs> I'd be just spouting a lineman. <laughs> Yeah, it probably will near, you know, you know, it'll just happen in Platteville again and I won't be there to see it. Sounds right. <laughs> Stand by up. Piss. You know, I might like that. Yeah. You guys like play? I do. I do, and I especially like that it's outside of like Denver and Colorado Springs. Yeah. You said it's not sending, Brian, or is it now? No, that was. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think call Lyman. Lyman it is, and then we can even catch storms further east. Okay. Let's do it. But that no. one out near uh, Colby is uh, severe now. Ready? Yeah. They might have gone up too early. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, the Colby one might have gone up too early. This has got to be the perfect storm. But look at this one too, coming off the Palmer. Gosh, that's ah, that one right there. Damn, that looks good, doesn't it? Forty k. It is moving almost due north though, so it's oh, probably it changed, just gonna man. hug the twenty seven corridor there. Don't Bet you think? It does. Yeah. God, I really like this. Look at this one. It's starting to yeah. be top. You guys like that one? I 100% I, I agree. Head toward Lyman? Yeah. Okay, are you sure? I'm, <laughs> I'm positive. Okay. It's very healthy. Just what I was mentioning earlier. La Junta happens every time. It does. Off the La Junta convergence zone. There's also one down there. Down there. We got 59 minutes till we get to Lyman. Should probably punch it. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you guys Stay are on board. Lamon. Head south on Congress Road. In 10.7 miles, miles, turn left yeah, onto Palmer Avenue. Sounds like, it sounds like a wild cat. Wow. This is a wild cat. Damn face is on, people. They want to see mountain. They, don't, like they clearly don't want to see you. They do have good easterlies here, though. Feel these? Yeah. yeah. They do a little Lyman, too. Five degree higher dew points, higher temperatures. And you're gonna have multiple storms today that do it, I think. Yeah. Which is. Yeah. Yeah. Feel the east coast pull the vehicle to the right. It's, it's today is really looking good. I look like here. cloud cover we had this morning. Look at it now. There's the storm, guys, to the southwest, but we're targeting the one coming up from La Junta toward Lyman. So uh, for those of you looking at radar, as you uh, follow along, again, this is the storm that they're kind of paying attention to here. This is uh, the one by La Junta. So they're, whoops, sorry. So they're paying attention to this storm. They are about right, about right here. They're headed right here. And they're, uh, this storm is headed basically due north, I believe. Yep. It's headed due north. Uh, creeping creeping north generally so that's the uh that's the plan until it changes we'll see things change quickly but uh looks like there's a lot of choices today in the spring too a little removed from the mountains is good just keeps adjusting the airbags that storm? it's down near la junta what's adjusting oh just the airbags oh. just because of the east release i think it's flashing no, it's good. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's riding good. It scared me. Oh, we have three. Two. Two. We, we only, yeah. Rap ain't picking up on that at all. 
Oh, there it is. Is that the, that's our cell, right? That, yeah. Or else it's not over here. Yeah, that's probably it. Maybe further south. Moving into that environment. This is near Lamal. Oh, wow, that's our cell. Yeah. It's way down there. Yeah, it's pretty far south. Oh, man. It should churn all the way through that, then hit those easterlies. You look at the surface map and the dew points along the I-27 corridor are mostly in the upper 40s, but that can still get it done. And yeah, we can always wait for that one to hit the I-70 corridor too. It's still way down there, but it's eventually going to get there. It'll just yeah, take a well. while. But yeah, we may want to get this one first. And we then could just continue one. dropping to straight south to Keel and then go to Lyman from there. Yes. Straight east to, yeah, to, seriously. We get them both? Yeah, we can do that. It's up to you. Other, just an idea. Yeah, that's an option too. Simla to Lim Lyman, we get to go to Simla too. Always yeah. happens there. Get a look at it. Metal Lark. Yeah, this one could blob out down there in northwest Kansas, but I bet it produces in the in all areas. Next stop sign, turn left. A lot of lightning on that storm, too. Yeah, it's but definitely it also going to be the two, storm. two to three hours. You know, it's going to take a time it gets there. We might be down here when we get it, too, because the boundary is a little south. At the stop sign, turn left onto Palmer Avenue. Who is this guy? I think he'll be. It's the guy from the gas station. All the day. He's okay. Hi. In a quarter mile, turn right onto State. I thought he was with that new chase group. No, no, that's it. Avenue. What are the east? Are there two easterlies here? North easterlies? Sign, turn right Flag. onto East Colfax Avenue. North easterlies here, yeah. Lightly. Ren laid a reminder to please hit that like button. Only half of you have. Let's dominate that like button. It helps us a lot. Thanks, guys. Out east a little bit or northeast? He's out northeast. Northeast of us. Interesting. Yeah, he, he doesn't know the high plains very well. A lot of them, a lot of them LSM guys don't. Oh, he actually moved to Otis now. He's going east. Yeah, he might, he might go east. to that. Yeah, he might be going back to uh, Kansas. Yeah, I like that Turn point too. Turn to South First Street. I do think that La Hunta storm is probably it. I agree with you. Still go say hi to Vince and Brandon and buy ourselves a few minutes, but. I'm not getting out of the car if we do. So. In 1.2 miles, turn left to merge onto I-70 East. Meet and greet time. Let's have a candle. Let's do fresh grass. What'd you say? Fresh cut grass. I love that. Oh, yeah. I do too. It smells like spring. In one mile, turn left to merge onto I-70 East. All right, guys, there's the storm on the right that we're watching. It's already got a big anvil. Also watching the Kansas stuff. We'll have an aneurysm if that produces. <laughs> we 
we will. It looks blobby out there right now. You guys want to give this terrain banked up against the train some time, just in case? Yes, we're going to give this guy a little time, yeah. We could get both of them, probably. Yeah. Did you want to just stay south? Just on this road? Yeah. Totally your call, obviously. There's a highway if you go east. You do? Yeah, but I don't want to go on there. Uh-huh. Is that pee? Huh? Do you just got to pee? No. Some people asking, are tornadoes common in Colorado? Yes, they're, they're quite common. Um, obviously, they have to happen before the mountains, uh, but they're, they're common. You get some really... It, it, it's good chase territory, basically, too. Um, it's very flat. It's kind of sparsely populated in some areas, so you're not super worried about... You know, if something produces, obviously everybody needs to pay attention, but it's, it's less, uh, there's less anxiety about a tornado hitting, uh, hitting something, but it, it's still definitely there, but it's less than say Dixie Alley. Yeah, this one does have At the stop sign, on it, so. turn right onto South First Street. That'll probably be what happens though. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Sleeping? Are you sleeping? <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Bored. How are you? Waiting for things to happen. You don't like the LaHunta storm? You're going after this? I'm being patient. I like that LaJunta one, but. LaHunta. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I like it, but I'm just not going to jump on it and then miss this stuff further north. Yeah, or you might miss the tornado of the day down there. Yeah, I don't think so. Where can people follow you? Hey. On social media. Where? YouTube. BrandonCoppick.com? Brandon Coppick is awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm cool just going to chill here. I want to see if that one near Denver does anything. Yeah. Of course. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. I still think that LaHunta one's probably gonna head I north, like but it. I do like it. Well, I'll get out of the way so you can get, read. Oh hi, what's your name? Uh, Soren. Nice to meet you, Soren. Thank you so much. You got Storm Chaser Brandon Coppick right there too. Hey Brandon. Hi. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. You get people running up you on the roads. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what channel are you on? I'm on Vince's private frequency. I'm on a marine radio here, but. I don't, I don't even know what these are. Vincent. You're probably only allowed to broadcast on that, aren't you? Yeah, well, I'm supposed <laughs> to be on ham. Okay. That, we have a marine radio. Yeah, yeah, I know the marine. I don't even know what the hell the frequencies are, but... Okay. Text me the frequency. The man. Hey, Tom. What's up, Tom? Hey. There he oh, is. Yeah. Good, how are How's you? How's it going? How are you? Yeah. Did you feel that? What's that? That little tickle I gave you? Oh, good. Is it nice? <laughs> 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 hey, Brandon. Oh, thank you. Good to see you. The whole party behind you. Oh yeah, hey, we're just it. we're just getting started, guys. Oh, <laughs> we'll see how long they stick behind there. Uh huh. Don't still dip off. Some big shit today. I think we are. Yeah, and we're gonna see some good stuff today. Oh yeah. <laughs> I saw you post, and I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm just hoping you betas can make it down there tonight. Betas, yeah. <laughs> I'm out here to have fun, man. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> it's gonna be good. Yes. I'm out here to have fun, too. I'm curious about it. Over there, I was kind of eyeballing that triple point. So. There's Blue Moose, everybody. The Blue Moose. Yeah, the Blue Moose is... I brought out the big gun shirt today. We'll see what happens. Where can people follow you? Uh, Twisted Bro, T-W-S-T-D-B-R-O on Twitter. On uh, Facebook as well. Uh, one storm just went to so, uh, bring an extra yeah. compressor. Which one? Ours. That one southwest of us is starting to. Uh, the one that's over the mountains did. This Real one. Morning. Yeah, over the mountains, over here. This one. Alright. Drift a little south. 
Oh, Ours is looking good though. It's got a lot of storm around of inflow on it. Yeah. I just gotta decide. I gotta go number two again, but I don't want to go back to the loves or we'll never be able to leave. Is that why they had it got a commission in there? No. Oh, no, no I one with caution tape on it. Yeah, I take the athletic greens now. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that mountain one is tornado warned, folks. Good luck, boys. Have That's fun. That's West Creek. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you. There it is, just north of Lake George, yeah. West Creek. Already yeah. tornado warning. Feel already there. We do our south. Oh, sinking down there. Here's what I was thinking. Because I don't want to get tricked, you know. Here's what I was thinking. Okay, get on this highway and go south. Sure. Because you can play them both, and then you can easily get east of them. Exactly. If there's a tornado today, report it to Spotter Network as a dynamic flight. I can't. I'm, I'm banned. Oh, you're blocked now. The I'm hey, banned your life. Wing. Yeah. The Hey Jordan, can you guys hang here? I gotta go to the back. Yes, I'm yes. gonna run though. Right, yeah, yeah. This is okay, don't spot. get out, guys. Do not get out. <laughs> no, I'm banned. Somebody have to go get you. Somebody have to go get I gotta me. go to the bathroom. Because yeah. because they got tired of me calling them out for their crappy reporting system. Oh my god. Well, hey, it's Colorado Storm Chasers. They told you how to, you know? Nothing. Hell no. Yeah, it's spinning over there, but um, um, you know, but you know, but I think. Yeah. So there is a tornado warning for like right at the edge of the mountains here. Oh. You're in Bennett right now. This is Denver. Um, this is Denver. We do have a tornado warning up here in right off the mountains. Um, but we're definitely keeping an eye on this cell right here. But the main play I really do think, and Reed does too, is this Lahanta cell down here. And uh, as this moves up towards Lyman, we'll probably drop on it. But to be able to play both of them, I think we're going to go ahead and drop down to Kiowa. Bag that one, go east to Lyman, I think is gonna be the main play. So, um, yeah. Look at that, everybody. Vince Walty, Walty, right there. Hey, Vince. Say hi to Reed's stream. Wave to we Reed's stream. Just wave. <laughs> That's Vince, everybody. Didn't, didn't wanna wave. <laughs> You can go follow him at Storm Chaser Vince Wolf. <laughs> How are you, buddy? What's up, dude? Good to see you. Back in back in the old stomping grounds. Canada's, yeah, dude. Canada's got Canada's got like a wedge right now. Of course, it's Canada. It's all Canada. Yeah, we can make it. Yeah, guys, this is gonna be our. This is one of our cells right there. Your password to get back. Just off to it. Yeah, you know, most people don't know. If you're gonna drive, you can go to your local PD and get an enhanced license. No bypass. No bypass. So you can just drive back and forth with an enhanced license. Oh, I'm gonna say. Yes, you can. No. I'm gonna say something. Yes. Try to. Sierra wants him to move. I want him to move so bad. Right. All right, Brandon. I wanted to hear you move for like months. <laughs> Can I get you moving? It's <laughs> <laughs> made her day. My hand, the camera's so shaky because I'm like leaning like this. No, dude. Need to a warning. I'll say that Vin Vince is, Vince can be spicy, but. But for anybody in chat who's saying like, I don't know about Vince, Vince was one of the guys who, you know, Vince drove out of his way to help Reed and all them with the compressor and stuff the, you know, the other day, Vince is a, he's a great dude. He's a, he's a really nice guy. He's a great chaser. Um, you know, sometimes he's a little curmudgeonly, I suppose, but, uh, he's, he's awesome. He's a really, really nice guy. All the way from Ohio, folks. Fuck Ohio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stream. Builds character. 
If he gets hit, I won't take the Just when you open the door. I mean, everybody trying to follow is, but he's, he's had to go to the bathroom. Can I make a video not shaking? Girls who chase? Is that a gin? Can I make a video not shaking? I don't know if it's a gin wall. I think it is. It is gin. Yep. <sighs> yep. <laughs> somebody move, somebody move. <laughs> She was like, really saying she was like, felt sick for her. I think that like, was in her area. Yeah. Yeah, whoever is. Did y'all know you're like attracting attention? I'm aware. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, streaming. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, oh, Sorry about all the F-bombs. I'm actually texting like, come on, everybody. It's a little hard to tell people to stop. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous to, to ask people to stop cursing when they're like out on the road being free and everything. So sorry about the F-bombs, guys. PG-13. PG-13, I think, are allowed to have one F word in them. So we might have gone over that a little bit. Eventually, we may be able to have like a beep, but that requires all sorts of uh, all sorts of technologies. I gotta have things on a delay. I gotta have somebody like ready with the beep button. You know, we just try to keep it generally. You know, kids watch it. Good luck today. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Too. yeah. You gonna drive into something? I'm gonna try to. I'm like, anytime I see this out, I'm like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Good, smart idea. Everybody else gets excited, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. how's it been riding around with this? Feels like you're in a normal pickup. You don't even know what you're doing. But here's the thing. I also believe that, you know, like YouTube automatic does the automatic captions. So, you know, Google's AI knows what people are saying and Google will ding you for cursing. Like they, they will. They'll promote you in some ways, but then they'll they'll drop you in others. So I don't know. Fair enough. Shout out Ranch. Cool. All right. Well, it's good to see y'all. Sweet. Good to see you. All right. All right. Get Reed in the car. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, dude. That thing's. Yeah, let's go. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Jordan. Good Dan, to see you. Dan's gonna be jealous. I saw Dan. Where? He's here. Oh, yeah. I was just hanging out with Dan Fitz. Oh, shit. Like an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah, Dan's here. I was hanging out with him last night. He said he wasn't gonna make it. Oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. He, he farmed all night, took an hour nap, and is out. Did he? Oh, yeah. I figured he'd farm all night. Yeah, he told me he had to get corn in this morning. Yeah. No, he got her done. He got that done and when he's going to get a tour. When we were talking last night and I was like, we need to seriously go down here. And he's like, oh, I got to get this plot in. But it rained a ton, so I thought maybe it stalled him. Oh, I love that light bar. Vincers. Who's the one in the back seat? Sierra. It's not Sierra. Sierra, this is Jonathan. This might be one of my favorite, uh, this might be my favorite poll that we've ever done. Uh, but anyway, oh, what do we got here? We have a severe thunderstorm watch here. But the, so the red is a severe thunderstorm watch. That's new. The purple is the tornado watch. Um, as you heard before, whoa, as you heard before, this, uh, there's a tornado warning like right off the mountains here. So if you spent any time in Denver, it's like here's Denver and then 70 goes right into the mountains, which are, I guess, right about here. The Rocky Mountains are not far from Denver. It may even start like right here. What was that? Yeah, that's a sick shot. Yeah, and his colors are just insane. It's so dark. We were sitting 
up on this hill in Kansas and it was just mad. This was popping, crawlers. It was just, we sat out there for probably four hours last night, maybe longer. How's it? How's it riding here? Like a normal truck. You it's know, good. You, it, it. you don't even know you're you going to take it. All extra weight. Yeah. It's all airbag suspension, so it's smooth. Oh, yeah. That, that's the way. Mm -hmm. All right, he's getting, people are walking up. Read. Yeah, so Carol saying watching people hang out on the side of the road is not fun. This is part of storm chasing. We got to wait for the storms to develop a bit. We can't just can't just make them happen. So what we're doing, this this forecast is especially for Carol. We are looking at this cell right here by La Junta. And the guys are about right, they're just west of Denver right here. So as we animate this, we see it's making its way, it's making its way. But it's got to hit the right environment too to really start supercharging too. So Once you start chasing, sometimes storms go up really fast. This is like they're kind of bubbling a bit more. They're taking their time a little bit more, but, uh, you know, we got to, this is chasing. Um, and if you want to just watch the greatest hits, you could check the channel. On the channel, we do edited videos of all the chases and, um, you know, we cut out the parts when we're just sitting on the side of the road. <laughs> oh, you gotta do it again. I do. <laughs> yeah, he's got an active tongue. <laughs> oh man! All right. So, so what we can do here? Don't bully Carol, guys. We're just explaining. Everybody's everybody's fine. Don't bully Carol. Don't jump on Carol. And Carol, I'm sorry. I was just using you as an example for, to a new person to the stream. That's my fault. Everybody, leave Carol alone. Oh my yeah. Cool beans. Right. See you later, see buddy. You. Good to see you. We'll see you a little down the road, Brandon. Oh, I'm sure. Good I'll luck, see man. you guys in my rear view mirror. Yeah. Back up, Brandon. Back up, Brandon. Dude, people came up to the window and are like, F this, F that. And like, stream's on. And then Brandon's like, who keeps cussing? Like, I can't stop it. Yeah, Jan comes up. This Connor goes, Jen's walking up. I want to meet the stream. <laughs> Where is the south option? Um, You're going to go, if you turn east on the other okay. side. And then it takes us to a yeah, nice like big south so we road right there. Well yeah, there's the storm guys. You yep. can see it. Sorry, I just went to the bathroom back there. All good now. How do those Kansas ones look? Not very good. A severe wind over there. Was that there. two tornado warnings in Colorado? Yep. But it's the same thing. They just extended it. This right is here. the oh yeah, east is a, the option. You go yeah. east and the south. Yeah, that's your highway over there. I can see where those power lines are. So yeah. we'll take the next exit. Good to see Jen back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, down near Strasburg is our. Where is that sign? It's like the Kyle again. Yeah, I got it. Starting route to Kyle. Point six. Yep, right here. In half a mile, take exit 305 toward Kyle. All right, everybody, we got a storm that is developing to our south, right off the Palmer Divide. And we have another storm that's developing over here in La Junta. And it's also moving north. And we're also watching those in northwest Kansas. But as usual, the storms are going up faster. More storms are going up. I made my face look so red. It's not that red. It's weird. Did you get sunburned? <laughs> see the base already. Yeah, you take it right there at the south. Um, yeah, we can do whatever we want other than that river. We can get down to Kiowa. And then that takes us straight to Lyman if we want to, too. So. We got options. This isn't Missouri. It is. Already got the base of it. Classic high. Insane. It's already got a base. With the mic's on.
Chào Phong developing down there near the Air Force Academy. Storm down southeast of Goodland is looking good. I think those went up too early, didn't they? Could have. Yeah, they can do it later too, but this one might go west of us if it doesn't turn right. Is there any west options ahead? I'm looking right now. Yeah, there's a highway down there. It takes you to get to that road, I guess. Okay. Yep, we can do Wait that there. Yep. I'll let you know when we're close up here. Ooh, look at this. Nice skies. We could easily just end up following this thing all the way up, too. Well, yeah, so when I'm looking, the SPC tends to think that whatever it is that moves in here is in that 10%. So yeah. It would, that easily could start tracking yeah. towards Fort Morgan. Because then we can just keep an eye on those and then pick them off one by one. Yeah, because like that one's a line. few hours away still. So yeah. we, it's like a reverse dry line. Yep. Should be able to get all of them. Yeah. Just taper down the line. Do you need uh, one last favor, though? When you're not. On the top zipper, I'm like, where I put little things, the memory card readers in there, I'm going to put it here. Just when I'm ready to throw video out, I'm ready to rock. Yeah, that one could end up being near Parker, but if we can get to that good west east, I think that'll be. Speaking of Parker, set us up for that. It's good to see Parker today. Oh, yeah. Parker Cops. Yeah. Someone? Where? Put them on that and I'll throw them off the window. Another one developing down near the Air Force Academy and even a tornado warning in the mountains. Just get rid of it. Do whatever you want with it. Found a tick back there. A tick? Yeah. Not good, guys. No ticks allowed. We got a tick in the tornado. The tick on the loose right now. Everybody check all cracks. Self check. I can't right now. <laughs> She's looking for one. <laughs> It's a supercell down there, but look at it. Look at it. It's shaped like that. No, not for Watch. Sure. We've got to keep an eye since the angle. A million percent. Those are the meridional storm motions. These aren't going to want to move into the deep moisture for sure. I like that storm southeast of Goodland, though. Yeah, it's nervous. It's going to give me a bridge. No, look I'm at the Lanta storms. They got a lot of lightning. Only stop behind it. spinning too. Where is that west east road? It is right up here about two miles. Yeah we'll just wait there see what this thing does and then we can always it go. only goes west if you go further south there is east county down to Kiowa. You don't even have to go all the way down there you can go to County Road Fitz County Road might run right run the county um Luke, the loose tick. And those storms right over the mountains are going nuts and producing. Already. Yeah, would, in order to go east or east, you're going to want to, you have to go to Kyle. Yeah, I mean, we may just want to, if we did decide to go east, we could always go back to the interstate. But Kyle would take you straight east to. Yeah, but then if it, you know, it's like sticking in the beginning. 
those things. But yeah, we can do that. Go down to Kai. Whatever you feel. Or a ribbon too far removed. That's true too. So so I don't yeah. want that to happen. I think it is going to be that little hunting one eventually, though, southeast. That is the main plan. Yeah, absolutely. It's even turning right looking. <laughs> it's LP because the dew points were so bad out there, but. Yeah, a lot of times it'll look like that down there. So yeah, look at the top on it too. It's kind of a crazy top. Kyla would work. That would be the storm. I think. And I don't want to commit to it yet, but <laughs> I definitely don't want to commit to it yet, but I think that's what we're See, we could always go southeast out of Hugo and get that thing, so mm -hmm. then maybe we should blast, or we don't want to take those northeast ones out of play. But the surface map, you know, alignment does look quite favorable, that's for sure. Look at the tops on that thing. Whoa, what? Look at the tops on that thing. Yeah, down south. Look at those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Hunter could get the both of both worlds. Yeah, could get the best of both worlds. You really could. Absolutely due north, right? A little right over. Yeah. Yeah, it, to get to Lyman, it does say it's faster to go back to 79, but that this is will your last us. option. Yeah. If you wanted it. Um, I think it's an hour to get to Lyman. Start the timing, I think, is there. That's 2130Z. In 4.8 miles, keep right onto South County Road 137. This thing in play too for a while. As you can see, it's right over there. Does the H triple R pick up on that the Hunter Storm yet? Probably doesn't because it's so mixed down there. It is now. Yeah. It still says. Yeah, it does. Until it hits the boundary. It's just so over mixing that air. It's amazing that it even had that the storm is even there. All of them in play because down here, but maybe we want to get some coming into Denver and then just go north. Could do that. The rare Meridiano storm motion. Look at how healthy that storm is, guys. And that's coming it's right very healthy. Denver. What are the odds like at Denver? Okay, no. Yeah, we just don't want to botch this. Oh, sorry. Denver. <laughs> there he goes. Big got around me. It's still has strong rotation southwest of Denver, too. Yeah, DIA. Let me go wrap about you, car. I'm going to get way better. Yeah, Lyman, oh. 70 over 52. It didn't seem to have it on there. Right over the foothills, that thing is producing. Here you go. Man, La Hunta does see how it's a supercell. 62. Yeah. 62. 64 64 over 52. 52. That's not That's terrible, is it? He could get into this environment, 64 over 71. And then, um, Lyman's at 72. Lyman's the best job out of anywhere. I really like so I really like Lyman, but at the same time, it's a very healthy looking store. I don't. It's easy to go up to I 70 and then still cover Lyman. That's true. We can do that. Because down here, the dew points are 43, so they won't start producing until they hit Denver. We're just going to start getting in the city. Yeah. 
But just northeast there on 76, it could start producing too. That's and turn true. Right. You're right, right outside yeah. of the town. So. And then we could easily just blast down 70 and get that next one in Lyman because the two points are dry down there and just get them as they come up. Good. Hmm. That storm looks good back there, though. It's got a nice base. Another one behind it. I wonder if this one just keeps going away to the east and eventually fluffs out, though, too. Maybe this will be the only play as it lifts northeast. Sure, it could be. This Denver one's going to have, like, three updraft parts. Yeah, I could. Like... Yeah. I'm trying to decide if, yeah, it could be that cluster that's up near Denver. That one just south of Denver could be nuts. If we get up near I-70, we could easily track it off to the north. It could be that dominant one just coming out of the mountains there. I was wondering about that La Junta one eventually. Oh, this one right here? Yeah, eventually it'll hit east of Flagler and hit those two points. Yeah, it's already a supercell. Hi there. Hey. How are you? Doing right. How are you? Good. It is. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Nice base on it. I want it exploding down next time. Yeah, it is. Oh, just one day at a time, man. One day at a time. Yeah. Dang, <laughs> Quite the, quite the convoy here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that La Hunta one, I wonder if it hits some moisture eventually. Yeah, last scan. That yeah. Goes ballistic. Yeah, it's just rocketing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We could easily get there, even by going back north to I 70, and then you could wrap around I 70 and get it pretty easily. My only concern with that south was so much junk coming up behind it. Yeah, really that's a concern too, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, near Raton Pass and all that. But I think that La Hunta one will probably end up doing it. And that one southwest of Denver that's coming right into town. Yeah. One, yeah. Looking at both. Once the once they had the storm, or it might just go away. Yeah, this one could fluff out, and the one over Denver will dominate yeah, too, pretty easily. To develop right above yeah. Us. Found it. Yeah. You found it? Yeah, found the tick. Keep eyes out locked. You need the lighter? Yeah. So that I can find it? I don't know if I didn't have it anymore. It's right here. Okay. I'm going to do this without burning. I'll, I'll film it. If, if you need to burn the carpet. It's severe. Southwest of Denver. Severe. Waiters. Did you get them? Yes. Did you kill them? I was never going to be comfortable until we got that. Show the stream. There you go, guys. Colorado Tick right there. He, he gone. He's gone now, though. Oh, thank goodness. Like freak Get him out the window. Get him clear. This is a tick-free zone in the Dominator 3. I smell the burnt tick. I love that smell. <laughs> <laughs> it's the burnt Should hotel. Go for it. Let me see All what right. it says. There's your big base on our storm now. Base yeah. appears to be getting bigger. Yes. <laughs> that was not great either. That looks good, though. And also that storm or just southwest of Denver is warned. Oh, that's, that's good. That storm it's southwest of Denver way. looks nuts. Did it, you feel better now? I feel so much better. I hate texts. Now I want to take my... Go All right, it's gone now, so we don't have to worry about it now. It's a tough decision. So that one's moving too. Yeah, if we go up to 70, we can easily it catch it. Go east so way. look at this rotation on the Denver storm. We'll get up to 70 and wait. We oh, got oh, a good east west. Jeez. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we can move it any on. second, so we don't want to be too crowded around this thing. Yeah. I think 70 will keep all these in play. Proceed to the route. Proceed to the route. Could get a he was just big burling and tornado. While we have a little interference here, uh, first welcome new members. Sorry guys, I, I needed to put it on members only because I started I started trouble before. So members only, it's a little bit more chill. Oh, Looks like our signal is ah, it's still a little iffy. Um, but this is, uh, so here is the, 
Here's the area, right? They're about right Oh, no, sorry. Anything till it hits that boundary, right? You want to beat it there, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, an, it's even closer, though, to go north to 78, even if we're down there a little ways. So. Yes, and we can keep those in play a little longer if we go to 70. That storm is intensified. Look at it, guys. Storm's going berserk. It's even got a walk out already. I think that's the Denver storm, maybe. Or is that eastern one? And I can actually see a lowering way behind that. I think it's the Denver storm. It's in itself. Class the northeast. Oh yeah, it's about a, it'll be a lot Ooh, nice little hook on it already on this one. If it, it suppresses these and this one dominates, then that'll probably be that first storm. Yeah, that'll, it'll actually move just east of town too, yeah. probably. Well, these are starting to turn right, just to the south of Denver. We got this storm. I said these ones might even suppress just a little bit, but we're also watching this one down near La Hunta that could be heading. We're watching that storm. What's wrong? Oh, he was asking about where we're going. Okay, yeah, yeah we're just heading back north. It's I-70 again. Keep our options open. Yep. Yeah. Keeping an eye on the storm out of Denver right here. Yeah. Yep. This is coming off the mountains, rotating really well already. Just to give you guys a little position check, here they are. Um, here's the La Junta storm that's moving its way north. Here are the cells that are uh, headed into Denver and... Yeah, these are these are the storm tracks, and these look like they're headed for Denver. So if you're in Denver, just you know, don't go, go crazy. Just pay attention to the uh, to the weather and the warnings here over the next few hours. This storm is going to be there uh, in 45 minutes. This one's going to take longer. Cut, yeah, cuts out lake wind. <laughs> Southwest of Denver. Yeah, I can see it, but that's a lot of scud back there. Oh. Wow. That is too close to the mountains so far, but that La Hunta one will probably be the one. What do you guys think? I think La Hunta long term, obviously. But yeah. Be able to yeah, this will probably produce and La Hunta. It could if it if it gets yeah. keeps turning right. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> like, oh, come on. Are you okay? Yeah, I was thinking about it. I was gonna stop just shy of 70 and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I'm you. Trying to find this good viewpoint. Maybe on this side option just to look at that storm. Look at it, look at that scud guys. Good spot. Am I sinking? Oh yeah. I'm on the top of this bed. You're fine. You know, I just bump up to three. You're not gonna sink it too far. <sighs> Yeah, that has scud on it. But I think that's the back storm. The east one's evaporating, see? And then you got that big base to the southwest. Yeah, the Pioneer storm's evaporating, and that other one, the Castle Rock storm's getting, this one's right here is getting pulled into that storm as well. So I think both these will die. Yeah. And this one could be the main one if it 
get going in a little bit. In one until our good one gets down here. What's satellite look like? Oh, that thing's a monster. I think it's look at that. <laughs> Just nuke it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what if it runs into and then this is lighting up whatever this is, is this like the dry line or like a back ridge? yeah that's probably a, <laughs> kind of a convected plume or convergent band that one south of goodland is rotating pretty good there might be just too many storms out near goodland for that mode to happen Damn, look at the tight rotation on Pueblo on that storm. Scanning aloft. Hello. Oh, hi. Hey. You think it's gonna be that Denver storm? Might be. Yeah. Or do you like that La Junta like hitting Burlington eventually? I I, I do like this one. Yeah, yeah. that's a La Junta storm. There's obviously more mo all the moisture's waiting up here though. Mm -hmm. There's nothing south of I-70, so this one might just see look at this environment across northeast Colorado. It could be this one too then. Yeah, it could be or this one it'll suck that one in and this one will just cruise right into that mm -hmm. I seventy six. I've been eyeing Morgan County all day. Yeah you have. Morgan County. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Morgan. It's kinda eating these two if you look, it's kinda eating these two out ahead of it. It's already got a, a lowering on it. Look at that on the southwest side. Mm-hmm. The untrained eye has trouble seeing that. But I could see it pretty easily. I'm read that sky like a book. Not right now. Uh, <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You think this is bad? Wait till tomorrow. No, I know. Well, well tomorrow might not be as bad. Already jumped between us. In Oklahoma? Yeah. The Dominator in Oklahoma? That's fair. I didn't think of that. <laughs> they are more used to it there. But they are very used to it over there, too. I'm not used to it up here. I guess you got one. Hey, try to cut you off. Oh. Trail warning. warning. Tell her count. They just rewarned that storm. The last one? Uh, the one going into Denver just got rewarned for tornado warning. I just, just came across my phone. Yeah, okay. it's not on here yet. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to chase the Denver. I'm not chasing my <laughs> uh, Unless he wants to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll wait on the east side of it. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> 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 That sounds almost worse than Dallas, Jason. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> this southern one could do it, do it too and turn right. I was looking at that southern one that uh, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only been to Denver three times. That's how much I don't like it. Yeah. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, a cluster of supercells here. The southern one's intensifying. This one's headed into Denver. We think that this one might be warned. It is, yep. There it is. Look at that. Look at that, huh? Yep. Might be the one. The might be this one. The south one. Might be the west one. It is, yeah. Yep, west it Creek, is. There's yeah. a new warning. You can open my door if you want. Perry's Peak. There's your new warning. It's a little tiny box. Oh, yeah. It's way west of I-27, isn't it? 25? Boy, those storms are just sucking in these new ones. Mm -hmm. I wonder if those eastern ones will take off. Oh, wow. We've got a tornado warning, folks. Southwest of Denver a long ways. There it is. West Creek. That's a very tiny warning box. They're going to probably extend that out. All right, I'll put it. Yeah. That is West Creek is that in the foot. Big wall cloud southwest of us on that Denver cell. It might even be the tornado warn cell. It very uh, I don't it actually know. could be. Really? How, how, how can we see that through all those though? Uh, those are just these little wispy things, right. I think. They just have tall tops. Are you guys storm chasers? Yeah. Hey Gabe. Hey, how, Gabe. Are you? How, are you how are you going, man? How are you? How are you? Good. I'm Gabe. I'm Jaden Papanai. Yeah. I think uh, we're Gabe Cox, yeah. yeah. So okay. Love him. There he is. Hey, Love tornado so trackers. On there? Oh, he's on. You're doing great work, man. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to Gabe. Hey. Follow him on tornado trackers. That's right. Got Jeremy Heyman in the car today. Nice. Nice. Uh, hi, Brian. Hand me the hat. There he is. What do you think, Gabe? You're going for that Denver one or? Yeah, chase downtown. That sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Raising all in favor of yeah. chasing the Denver Triple Metro race again. Yeah. I couldn't get anybody to jump on board, though. <laughs> yeah, that La Hunta one's moving due north. That La Hunta one could be the one. When it hits that east west boundary. Mm -hmm. It's still just north of La Hunta, though. Long way for that. But the easterlies are right here. Look at that. See them? Once it hits here, it's going to go. It's just hard to leave the tornado warnings. This always happens out here. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
Hey, there he Dakota. is. Dakota. I was talking about man. you earlier. How are you? It's good to see you. You too. Dakota. You like to have a hunt to storm or what? Here's Dakota, everybody. Yeah. Hey guys. How's, How's it going? going? With the goats right here, though. The goats where, are... where can everybody follow you? Uh, we're waiting on this cell right here to see what it kind of does. Palmer Divide Magic, you know all that. Oh, yeah. Um, we're going to wait and see what this one coming off the pinery does and uh, yes, hopefully get some turning supercells. Yeah, you like that Lahanta area storm? <laughs> No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> it looks promising. Hey, yeah. Man. The dew point in uh, Denver is at 70 over 52 in Lyman right now. So <laughs> How was the drive? I like this. Can I try it? Go for it. Yeah, so it's a Love's Cowboy. I was going to say this really All right, guys. Just go to Hugo. Can you get a picture with everybody really quick? Yes. 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 Yeah, so real quick, when you hear him saying like dew points and temperatures and 70 over 50 and all these things like that, Basically, you want a less than 10 degree difference in temperature and dew point for tornadoes to happen. It can happen with a, a larger difference, but uh, the temperature is the temperature on the ground, and the higher you go up in the air, it gets cooler. So if the temperature is 70 and the dew point is 80, or I'm sorry, if the uh, temperature is 70 and the dew point is 60, then that's a 10 degree difference and the cloud base is low. If the if the dew point is 50, then the cloud base is higher when it's colder. So if the dew point matches the temperature, it's fog. Right? So that's basically when they're saying 72 over 65, that's, you know, that's a place where a tornado, where the cloud base is low enough for a tornado to be able to set down. Which one? Oh, yeah. All of them are yeah. right there. Look at that. Bing, 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 bing. Lit up. Got tornado warnings. Getting western. There you go. That's a tight spin right there. Ooh, very tight couple there south of uh, Roxborough Park. Yeah, I still think we want that Lincoln or the uh, Lyman one. Yes. Man, I've been doing so many bean grease today, I can't even talk straight. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, that might even have a debris. I think it's hail, but look at the, uh, uh, probably not. That doesn't look like yeah, but just while we're looking at this, we do have two tornado warnings outside of Denver. Um, so this one is headed towards uh, Greenwood Village, Cherry Hills Village, uh, Glendale, and Aurora. So if you're inside this warning box, up, obviously get get into your safe place. Um, there's another tornado warning back here. Let's see. Yeah, so Denver definitely. Pay pay attention to what's what's going on here. These guys are are feeling that this La Junta cell uh, is more capable of producing. Silly, uh, seventy over fifty two yeah. dew point. You got straight uh, north there in Denver. Boy, I don't know. What are you thinking? Yeah, I'm thinking I mean, everything points to alignment. It really does. I mean, I'm being completely honest. I have a dumb question. Their time to play poker now. No. 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 We're an hour. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. Storm Chase is a gamble though sometimes. Yeah, you're right. You know? I'm betting on I'm betting on Hugo. And over it, you just had to hang down and then this would be a similar type of play. It just depends on what environment you like. Do you like this one or this one? They do have this nose and decent moisture here virgin zone. I'm worried that these are going to kind of go into that cooler area. I and think I, I agree with you 100%. Um, see, are you doing okay back there? Yeah, we got the tick. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. But where there's one, there's two. Okay. Well, <laughs> just, just kidding. That's just like, uh, uh. The thing probably already ate you guys. No. You didn't eat very much. He wasn't full. Or am I just starved? Okay. Damn, look at that lowering back there. We're gonna have to make a you're, final you're decision You're gonna have there. better vorticity out there with three cape overlap yeah. out east. What, if, what does our here look? Okay, Two hours right on there. Yeah. No east way to get on the interstate east, right? I'm trying to figure out how to do, how we would even come on. World is our road. 
Oh, that's how we do it, okay. Up here, you should be able to. Let me, let me just put some. Starting route to Limon. Just for you to stick it right up here. Yep, there's a lot of cloudy skies out of this thing, but it could produce. At the next stop sign, turn Here we go. Hey, guess what? We're watching on Twitter later. Yeah. Produces. Yes. That tornado warning is right into the south side of Denver. I agree, Dan. Lamone. I think you all in on red? What do you guys think? I think we go all in on red. Put it all the cars on the table. At the stop sign, turn right into state. Grab, grab your beanbag. Yeah, grab, grab your beanbag. Let's put it all in. There's Daniel's shot. I think. Nope. Well, that was John. Oh, yeah, I, I like him a lot. Hey, guys. John. I do think these will probably be handlers here. I agree. You agree? I agree. Yeah. Yeah. We might land stout or something, too, but overall, I think, I think it's going to be going you know. forever. Yeah. Let's do it. Yes. Let's type in Hugo. I'm on it. I'm on board. Full sand. If you guys are, it's okay to break off. Keep it out. Get one more look at that thing. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Those things are lined up like a string of pearls, but that was all by itself on me. Starts in the south of Lamone. Yeah. We gotta get there. Stop sign. Yep, you're good. Clear right? Take a slight You are turn. clear right. Turn right What are you guys thinking back there? I'm thinking this is the right call. Right call? I agree. Sierra Lindsay on it's Sierra it, it's on the, just, Lindsay underscore three agrees. Obviously hard to leave a tornado watch storm. Alright. Alright, so it'll be right there. Slap it back there. Thanks, Dan! Thank you, Dan! There. Everybody say thank you, Dan, and just happy birthday. Thank you, Dan. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Dan Boom Castro. Boom Castro. Happy birthday to my mom, Susan Tolbert, May 10. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy. It's her birthday, May 10. That's awesome. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday to Susan. I think a lot of people work those those off Denver too, so this will kind of give us a it's kinda of got a special weather statement. We gotta to get to Hugo now. Check H&H when you get a chance. Great, Colorado, all over again. Yeah, it is working. Right? See? Perfect. Okay. You guys sure you want to do this? <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? I'm never sure. Never 100% right. sure. <laughs> no such thing as 100%. I didn't look at today. We're leaving a tornado warning coming into Denver, but we're using good meteorology. I mean, it rain our interpretation. You know, that it's got a storm right immediately east of it. It's going to be warned the whole time. Ooh, it's going nuts, though. Man. But yeah, that's in the in the foothills. That's west of I-27. So good luck with that. Is Colorado Springs right up against the mountains? Too? Yeah, right in the foothills. The hills to the West, there in the mountains, yeah, the foothills. And you see all this stratiform rain too up here. There's a northerlies in Denver. It's a little bit behind the Denver cyclone, but yeah. Yeah. Here's your R -F -F. In West, turn right onto Wagner Street. Yeah, it just dominates that thing, doesn't it? <laughs> Moves it up into that environment. Just check it out. I mean, generally the cam, I think we need to go after this one down there. Which one? This one, I think. 
Uh, <laughs> I agree with you. Uh, it is hardly 21 storms, but if you're using meteorology to do so. It's moving due north. You know, it's it's, it's going to hit that boundary. Yeah. It sure should. It, it, I'd be shocked I, if it, if it doesn't. I'm, it's, that's just surprising to me. But yeah, Denver does have those tornado warning centers for you. But they are a little messy. That one to its southwest is running into rain cool there. I just want to know what that looks like. Yeah, <laughs> I really do. I would ask you if it's on it. I can look on here. Yeah, that southern one is going berserk. Jeez. I just get worried. Nobody's on stuck it. In Denver, <laughs> just west of West them. Creek. So west of I-27. And it's not confirmed either. They're producing probably over the foothills. That's at like 8,000 feet. Yeah. Turn right onto Wagner Street. Now this one will be a classic Great Plains. We can't intercept in the mountains. It'll be like two feet of hail. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. I've covered storms there that dump two feet of hail. The snow plows come out and everything. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. The ones that hug the mountains like that. I know. One hour to Hugo. It's for the greater good, I think. Models aren't showing that though. No, they're not. But at the same time, it's there. So yeah. better environment. In a quarter mile. Got to hear might even bust completely. Yeah. Total bust. Use How's the, the air flowing into that thing? Pretty good. Um, straight north at into it. Yeah. And if it was a little bit more bright, then I would say. Mm -hmm. I would agree if it was really more bright. We'll get to Hugo and it'll be at turn 90 degrees and start pooping. <laughs> right over. <laughs> yeah, right over burning. Turn left to merge onto I 70 East. So help me, God, Dan, if you botch this up. I'm coming back to Omaha, and I'm going to personally kick your ass. Just kidding. Going rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> going rowdy. <laughs> Just kidding, Dan. Zero for 460. Let's not look at it one more time. No, you're good. It's possible that that thing could die too when it gets there. Ours? Yeah, I mean, any of these, but these are definitely over the foothills, aren't oh. they? This yeah, are you comfortable leaving these Denver storms? Yes. You are 100%? 100%. Alright, I like this guy. I do too. Yeah, yeah let's I like go then. Too? Yeah, if you're, all we're all on board. 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 We're board. all on board on that. Okay, okay. let's come in then. Hugo, here we go. Yep. Hugo. Actually, I have it typed, Hugo typed in, so we're good. Okay. Give us a data tip. Block everybody. Okay. Just go. Let's see if we pull. Yeah. What? Yeah, I told you, man. This is it. When you're chasing this thing, it's a different beast. It is. So this one could go too, one behind it, you know, but. Give us a minute to block him. Okay, people are still following. Hopefully, no one follows us east. I got it. Yeah, I mean, that thing is coming down a little. The models do show a weakening, so. Which one Ooh, is the that? tops came down on ours. I'm gonna look here. I know it's going over my apartment, just east of there. What do you think, Mike? Let's sit here for another minute. Yeah. Wait, Jaden. We're not sure. Yeah, what if there's like some kind of substance behind this or something, or if the dry line pushes east and dries out and that thing dies? That could happen, but. We got tornado warnings coming into Denver, maybe. That one might have debris in it, possibly. I think that could uh, be. It definitely could be a tornado. Is it the northern one or something? It will get south of Denver. Is yeah, it a I'm pretty sure it's just north of West Creek. It looks like there's a tornado. New warning. Right there. In the foothills. That's Tell west of I-27. Let's rewind it again. Yeah. Hmm. That southern one is nuts. I think in detail. We're in Deer Trail. You know what this reminds me of a little bit? 
um, Chugwater, Wyoming, where it's stuck on the, the mountains and then it finally will released. Mm -hmm. released. Oh yeah. No. Oh man, look at two scans. Here. Yeah, it's on the ground. Oh yeah. I think so. Yep. That's that's the third scan. Maybe. I'd say so. Like a foothills tornado. Ding, ding. Yeah. Well, we should hang here for a bit. I think just in case. Do you want to get on a? Uh, we're on, stuck on the on on ramp right now. So we might have to find yeah. another exit. Okay. Hard back up. <laughs> kind of hard to back up right They got new tornado warnings all over those, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Northern storm ingested at first east one. It really easily could just turn. Right. Yeah. They're hugging the mountains. It's right on that nose over there. Yeah, it could. Predicting it to go right. So, I mean, God, I don't like this. I, I, want, I was waiting to see, see where these I, off to the east. I'd like those to take off because you'd think that they're influencing, but since these are in the foothills, they're coming in a different level, too. They definitely are going to get impeded. It's going to have to be this one if it, it's out here, I think. Mm -hmm. seen those storms going to Yeah, they're all going warned. They're right on the mountain foothills, too. The tops are coming down on that La Junta one. I'm watching I'm waiting to see if it drops below 40K or not here at the moment. Next scan. So guys, this is the uh this is the cell that they were just looking at that they think it'll probably on the ground. This one right here. I'll go back to read. We got tornado warnings all over the place, south of Denver, right at the West Creek's definitely on the ground. Oh, it totally is. Going towards Perry Park. Yep. Oh, I go we west. Might be gone now. Not true there. Let's see if we can go. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it just uncoupled. It produced and then stopped. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's occluding now. That was a tornado out there. Totally was. Just almost hit West Creek. That Perry, that Larkspur storm. Drop below 40k. It's at 30 now. It did? Yep. Yeah, it might fluff out, you guys. Damn. That one's on 40. All right. Man, if that one's fluffing out like that, we got we gotta let it rip, I think. Watkins? Watkins is just west on uh, 70. We have to go all the way to Byers to turn around. Starting route to Watkins. So I'll at least go to that. Oh, Byers is not far east. Yeah. east. Yeah, it's not easy. No, especially when you get multiple things to fire and you're like, ah. It always like, happens like this. Every time you're like, oh, slam dunk, and then there's multiple. You hug the mountains or. Yeah, that dry line is five miles east too. Unfortunately, maybe there's a middle thing. Yeah. It is, but it's not impossible. My apartment's there. Yeah. Do you have any here? You can? No, he was pointing out that there was a no U turn. No, don't turn here, turn around. It says authorized view. Apparently, I've never seen a more authorized view. In 15 miles, take exit 295 onto North Watkins Road. You should lose some of that tail. You lost Jane. Jane, oh, It could be this one too here on the east. I think Watkins will get us a good spot. Yeah. That one's dead, isn't it? That La Junta one is dead. The dry line must have pushed east. So yeah, this is our only play, baby. Well, it's coming back a little bit, isn't it? Uh, not quite yet, no. It will eventually, I think. I think it's gonna linger and just pop don't out. Know. Just don't know. It looks like the easterlies are lifting up a little. My 
might be fixing just a little to the southeast of Lamont. saying no. Oh. It is dying. It looks like the tops are coming down, but it can ramp up when it hits that moisture again. Oh yeah, the tops are shrinking on it. Going back toward the tornado warn one south of Denver. Well, one's going to start coming pretty right. wonder if it's going to run into substance behind that lead line, too. Watch that love storm. Yeah. Good Pablo? Yeah. Yeah, that Pueblo one could be it too. Lock in for the good. Look at the rotation higher up down near Castle Pines on that new one. It's pulling in a lot of info. Higher up, it's pulling in a lot of info. Yeah, out here could do it. They look a little different out here too. The subslope stuff is weird. It is really weird. Goodland isn't doesn't seem to be happening. I don't think it's gonna happen over there anymore. Yeah. It lined up. This has a lot of air in it. I just uh, explained something real quick here. So they were looking at this La Junta storm, right? <clears throat> and so one of the things we look at is how tall a storm is. And for that we use this feed. It's called Echo Tops. And you can see this storm there, it starts to go up and you kind of need to know the, so that shows it's at 40,000 feet, but it was, there were, it, it was higher and then it started to go down a bit. So that's not a good sign. So that's why the guys are <clears throat> looking at the, uh, looking at these ones over by Denver here. Um, so they're they're off of this storm even and but they believe this is probably the better environment up here for this storm to eventually get to, but it it, it may not work anyway. So because these storms have so many tornado warnings and they're going obviously into towards Denver, towards uh, Centennial Park, um, you know they're 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 heading there because this La Junta storm is just not doing what it's expected. But anyway, back to them. I have to. Well, Let's go to the morning. northeast loop. Your Colby Campus. What is this? You guys want to wait and bend it for a little bit more? You can wait for Kane. Oh, he's back on us. <laughs> I wonder what it's. Yeah, there we go. So we can see the faces. Yeah, it's so clear out here. God, that drained me. I don't know why I'm so tired. No, it does me too, yeah. Speed grades are tough. They just have to get through stuff on the east side. these easterlies further south and they run into the northerlies and they, they seem to struggle though. This is still a healthy storm out here. This one's south of Castle Rock. The one by Pueblo is really popping. Yeah. Bubbling up for it. So and the, you can see where that moisture tongue is. Yeah you can. A little further south. How does the tops look on the, the hunting storm? It's kind of bit bit messy. Yeah, compared to compared to popping up, like hold on, pause it. Compared to popping, that like, one's well, kind of gone down again. So we gotta hit this air. Yep, the nice seventy. Uh, Looks like it might be fluffing out over there. It's even worse. Oh, it's gone on couple of radar. All right, let's come into this. I'm on board. Okay. You guys want me to stop here or go to Watkins and get this thing on the east loop of Denver? Watkins, what, like six miles? Yeah. Yeah. This first one's probably our first legitimate target. I agree. Yeah. It's built it's back building into it. Look at the backed up traffic on this off ramp. Yeah. What? Oh my god. 
we are going to have some major problems closer to the metro near the airport and yeah, all I don't that, want to get any further close any closer than one <laughs> well, we we the only north east. option is that at that eastern loop let me look here which could be doable you could actually damn that one almost produced so up here between here and Watkins, it's there's an right. off ramp yeah. and then there's a highway here that runs east west nice. that All keeps that you outside. Yeah. yeah, if you want to do come up to here. Okay. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let me put that in the GPS. This thing's intensifying out here, guys. Look at yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, one south of Castle Rock we're watching now very closely. It's down there too. All right, I'm done with that La Junta distraction. La Junta distraction it's back there. It's testing us. We could, just go to walk. we could just go to Watkins. Yeah. And sit on this north-south yeah. gridded area. Sorry, camera. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's commit to that. Almost baited us. Could have been the bait from up there. Oh, it could have been. It almost there. <laughs> it was. Or we could still be getting baited. Yeah, yeah. At least there's four storms out here. Yeah. <laughs> the airplane landing at DIA. Take it off, maybe. Oh, it's all your right. Wonder how that wind shear is treating them up there. It does look nice and clear. We might have to end up going south. He doesn't look like he's. No, he's over that cloud. Wow. That is a... Damn, look at all those beans. Shh, 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 shh. Hey, that's a... Look at that. Or, you know, that plane over us? Landing at Denver from Frankfurt, Germany. Oh, wow. Let me fly right, right over you. Guys, yeah, really quickly, a position check here. So here's the team. Here are these storms. These are all tornado warned. And... Here we're looking at the uh, traffic in and around Denver. See it definitely some areas of concern here. So th this is storm chasing. Definitely getting squeezed. It's a six minute old radar scan, too. Castle Rock is now severe. In case you guys haven't seen, it is now severe. This one has a strong tornado warning. Score the one. These are the two our targets right now. Probably just want to get a little west of Watkins, right at that loop where there's a north south option to get up toward Hudson and follow it up to Hudson or something. Definitely responding to those northeast Look at the shape of this one down here. I love that shape, man. Big and bulky. And We're going to head down to Parker easily on one of those roads and get on that thing. Watch what I type. I'll type in Parker. The easy track. Look at this. Take this road. Yes, that one. Want to do that? Yeah. Starting route to Parker. At least stop there and decide. This road isn't bad out here. West of Lock, and see it's east of the main loop. Yeah, it's not. You could even just take that one. And I'd sample both of these. You guys still okay with everything? Oh yeah, yes sir. How are you, Sierra? Yeah. You're good? Great. You tired or? You're doing okay? You need water or anything? Starting route two marker. Nine miles. In nine miles, take exit two eighty nine yeah. toward Colorado Springs.
couple bases over here on the left. There's some <laughs> <laughs> Jaden flipped around. Wow, he just took the median. Oh. On <laughs> a stream, too. Boy, that one down south of Castle Rock sure does look good. It does. I like that one a lot. It's... Yeah, those three storms. La Hunta's dead, so we're going for it. Full set. South of Wild. Oh, one mile. Love it. Got structure here, guys. Yeah, yeah. you do. Look at the plane and the structure. That's sick. Plane? Straight in front of you, 11 o'clock. Oh, I see it. Southwest. Yep. It's actually the straight west. Southwest Airlines. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, gotcha. That's true. That was Damn, I'm shocked that La Hunter one just died like that. Ooh, we got a hook on this thing. A little blob. That is a hook, yeah. Get out to Tim. That's what you like, yeah. yeah so that little blob on the tip. Yeah. A little butterfly look to it. Love it. Yep. I do. Yes. Look at the last hand. This guy right here. Woo! Little cloud bases. I really wish you had east. I think this is your exit, isn't it? Yeah, but I have this new one typed in to go south. Okay. Uh, and just east of the loop, so you can take it straight to Parker. It's faster. Okay. You think that's okay? That's yeah. fine. About 20 minutes faster. Yeah. East side of Denver. Here comes that loop way Asia. Then we can get this lead one and that one. Both of them. And eventually that Pueblo one, if it does go. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I'm staying east of that. That's the one that goes down. There's one that goes down to Parker, too. It's a little east of that. We can do that. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I, I would stay on that east option. That's that east. That's my vibe. Yeah, initially I thought it was going to be that La Hunta one, but I think the dry line pushed east. Stay on this one. Yeah, it's got pods in it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Those things oh, yeah, so it's a little tick of my head. I think these northerlies up near I-70, they might produce just south, so that's why I'm getting a little aggressive with them. Heading out to Parker. Okay. It's a good play going to Parker. Thank you. You too. It's a great play going to Parker. A lot of weird roads down there is all. I know. <laughs> Yeah, there, that's the only thing that can really botch us is the traffic. You know, but it definitely is a front range player. I think that we just got it solidified. That northern storm is probably right over there. There's DIA guys, Denver International Airport. We got tornadic storms approaching Denver from the south. I said some acid reflux or something yesterday. My voice is all botched. Oh, it's happening! Yes! I'm just so excited about I can't help it. I gotta calm down. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be yourself. I just so I'm just so happy with that episode. That's Celsius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Celsius energy drink! <laughs> Flip yes! Flip yes! <laughs> The Jefferson Douglas that's County. Us. That's, that's, that's us. That's us. That's Jeff. Yeah, Jefferson. That's it. Two point nine miles. Sorry, right, guys. Tornado warning in our storm. Headed toward Parker. We got it. Trip film is going right through a town. Come on, Dan. You said La Junta. No, I'm saying if I can. I'm driving out, out to Omaha. Say that. <laughs> There's the storm coming in from the yeah, south. It's got a big, big push of inflow on it. So. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that inflow. 
Yeah, it's strong inflow. Look at that hook. Can you point to the tip of the hook? Right there's the tip of the hook right there. There it is. Yeah, holding on that tip. Very, very strong rotation on it as well. Yeah, we're getting close to the metro. This is 470. Should be good. Dan, we need you to calm down. Yeah, guys, just showing you a little bit more clearly here. So this is the storm. That they're looking at here you could see this is the hook and and just as i drew over it it got a little bit more defined now so it's it's a hook but it's on its side here you know it's normally we see kind of a hook like that now it's like this so everything is counterclockwise 90 degrees and over here this this is um sorry it circles both the thing on the right shows you the velocity of winds and precipitation. You got to look at where the radar is. So the radar is right here. <clears throat> and so green means going towards the radar. Red means going away. And if the storm kind of looks like this, all of this is inflow. And it, you can see the bright color. It's strong inflow. So that's, that's, air, that's wind going into the storm. The storm is kind of breathing in kind of. Kind of. What are you drinking? New Toyota warning, Douglas and Albert. It's this one. So I think they warned this one too, just now. We got to order. All right, we're going south. Navigation from north of here, though, we're going to need some serious help with because we're going to go right for TIA, Denver International. So. Should be able to ride County Line Road. You wish? Oh, they just warned that one? Yeah. They did just warn this one? We could go east on County Line Road right in front of it. Okay. And back north up to Bennett if you want to. Yeah. Okay. You can help me with that when we need to. Uh, yes. Yeah, see I, the base? I don't know. Uh, Look at the base, guys. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Stick around the corner. Hopefully, this road isn't too nuts. It says it green. Green. It looks like it's, a, it's green, but. Yes, All right, folks, we got the storm coming from the south side of Denver. We got the base right there, too. Tornado warned. There's the warning. Look at that rotation. Pinery, Elizabeth, Kiowa. We're heading to Parker. Is it going to go east of Parker? It is, but um, I can get us on this county, wo county okay. road road. Okay. It's called Airline Road, actually. South of that? It's called the county. We can go to County Line Road. Got it. How's that look? Get on that east west road. Yes, right there. Right there. Parker. Yes. Or you want to go to the northern one? Or either one of those. Okay. Sound good. Yeah. I love it. It's a grid out there. So. Yes, let's do it. Well, if we're not stuck with lights. I really think we can have a tornado in the next yeah. 20 minutes, honestly. Could, yeah. So, yeah, this is ready. We got the drone in the dash or in the center console. My drone ready? Everything's ready to go. And Here we go, guys. We tornado intercept in 20 minutes. Out. Share this stream. It's happening. Just the drone in the room. Dominate that like button. Damn, that's a big time mesocyclone right there. Wow. Signal. Also, this lead one already produced. It has a very tight couple. That's that curb right here. Yeah. You want to open? Go nope. past this line. Then at the next one, continue straight. All right, we're facing the storm now. So we're kind of going right here too. Look, see this one? Yeah, that's good. It's also a storm. Well, luckily our road we're about to get on. Use the right three lanes to merge onto Cooper Seventy South. Here we go. So here we go on this. I was just giving an update on these these storms right here. So this storm, it is tornado. So we have three tornado warnings, these three boxes, right? This tornado warning on the left here, it's uh, it's not going to be near a town until Littleton, which is out of the warning box now. So um, this one, it's not this 
software is not showing outside of Parker is not showing any towns directly in its path really. But if you're in this tornado warning box, obviously pay attention, get into your safe place. And then this is the target storm. You can see this thing has a real mean hook to it right here. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, this, this thing is, this thing's serious. Um, and uh, it's not showing it's going to uh, be near anything until 450. It's Elizabeth and Ponderosa Park. But if you are in uh, these tornado warning areas, please um, obviously get into your safe place and back to read. Yeah, one right in front of us. I think we're in a good spot, but I'm going to need some serious help navigating uh, when we go east and north of Bennett. I can type in Bennett too before we get off already, on already have Yeah, I know you got it. Nice. Exit 10. Okay. Um, but let me make sure on one thing here. Maybe we could play it. We could play it. I like this airline road. I like airline road better than I like the Parker one just because of this lead cell. Yeah. That one is uh let's take it. Four point eight miles to your turn. So it hurts. Yeah. And you can always get to that southern road too, but it keeps you in front of this one. What actually is that thirteen? I think we exit thirteen instead of exit ten. Right. Yeah, we can just go east and north on some back roads. Yeah, this one gets a Bennett. Airline road here. Okay. Back to them in a second. Um, so yeah, let's animate these. Or oh, here we go. They're back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Three point nine to turn. The eastern one's going berserk, you guys. Yeah, we gotta stay in front of that and then just go to Bennett. Yeah, we can do that, right? Yes, we can. Yeah, let's just take that Easter one. It's definitely the storm. Not one million percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, welcome to the party. All right, these are that's our target storm. It's headed toward Ponderosa Park. There it is. Yes. Got two separate warnings, but this one's moving more northeast, right in to that moist, moist air right there. Going right into the moisture. Two point nine to turn. That's what that'll do. Yes, and that road takes the grid too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Love it. Maybe we'll even get a tornado before I-70. We could very easily here. Going forward will always be center display. That's where we're at, right in the thing. I love that. That's yeah. That's the road I'm gonna get us on right here. So two miles away, I'm gonna run us straight east. Yeah, we just gotta get east of the Denver conversion. Then we'll be good. I yeah. feel a lot more comfortable. <laughs> it's turning right. It is. Uh, finally. <laughs> Sweaty. Her, her hands get really sweaty usually. One mile to our exit, to the right here. We're gonna take that Quincy Avenue exit. This is our exit up here. Point nine. On the right? Yep. Don't worry, Sarah. I guarantee survival. I'll make the last-second decision that's necessary, so you can have full, full faith. Trust you. 
I know I could just sense you might be not a little bit, but What's that? I could sense maybe you're getting a little worried. It's like this. It's yeah. like this. Like it's not so much worry. It's like this. Like weird mm. energy. I don't know how to yeah. describe it. Oh no, it's like I excitement, but yeah. at the same time, like on edge. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's a, like it's the a, anticipation. Yeah, it's a good feeling, but it's like I'm just still worried. Just, just a lot of nerves. I get it. Yeah. But that means you're here. That means you're alive. All right, guys. We do have this storm, which is tornado warning on the it is west side of Denver, right here. It's hard to see because it's a little bit murky. Uh, there could even be a tornado in there, folks. So we're on Quincy Avenue, looking off to the southwest. Merge onto E four seventy. Take a left here, right? Yep. This is your Eastern Road, right here. Yeah. So it's Tuna. Tuna went in Kansas. Did it go warned out there? Donuts too. Mm. Nothing confirmed as radar indicated. Well, they actually start seeing purples on here. Yeah, that's ours already got a TBS too. Ours is gonna. I, I, that's a storm. Yeah. No doubt about it. I, yeah, I'm really fully happy. committed. Yeah, a billion yeah. percent committed. Any good south options up there we can get to? Too? Over here? Yeah. yeah. If, if we want to approach it. Yeah. Go uh, not the. Uh, I'm totally fine waiting for it. Well, but. easily, there is a south option out here. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And here. Some uh, maybe even in between. Yeah, that's where it's rough. It's yeah. a little, uh, yeah. a little yeah. hilly. Well, well it's, okay. a, it's like little dirt roads here. Yeah, there are a lot of hills down here, too. Down here near the pinery in that area. If you can, like, this is a dirt road, but it does connect you straight to, yeah. there's two highways that run here, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a reservoir south of us, so. Uh, this will be fine. I think it's just the, uh. Already start to get the Very quickly, I'm just going to say with this, uh, the storm's moving, uh, was located seven miles south of Frankdown, 20 miles north of Colorado Springs. It's moving northeast at 35 miles an hour. Um, uh, this dangerous storm will be near Franktown around 3.45 p.m. Mountain Time. Elizabeth and the Pinery around 3.50 p.m. Mountain Time. So get in your safe places. Franktown now. Pinery, Franktown. Here you go, green light. Oh, yeah. I might be trying to pull one down. It's trying to. Good afternoon. I am just northeast of Parker, Colorado, where we have a tornado warn storm just to our south. It is important to heed all warnings. This could be a tornado producer towards the Denver International Airport area. Very soon, you're going to want to heed all warnings. Tune into my radar for uh, live updates on your warnings and watches as well. Reporting live from my radar, this is Jordan Hall. There, there you go. There's your little quick ass line. Don't even care how bad that sounds. Ooh, we got northerly speeding into that storm. Because east of that, they should shift more northeasterly. That's the conversion line, folks. So we're kind of looking down toward that way. Maybe trying to produce one just south of the pine are you guys right now. Holy cow. Hey. Yeah, we got on the south. Yeah. 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 Look at the northern one. Look at the northern one. It has a hook on it. Yeah. Right. No, this one's huge. You gotta see when we get on a hill. Yeah, it's huge. It's got a whole mezzo to drop Which down. One? Where's our southern one? You gotta get on yeah, top definitely. You can't see it right now, yes. Is that accurate, Jordan? What? It's a little radar thing. Yeah, that's some uh, rate of range folding. Yeah. You're going to see it if you go to this hill. This might be this one because they're kind of going east southeast. To it. Like, I, I really think it's the southern one. I hope so. It's a ways over there. It's big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big big there. on it. That one. Yeah. I can't see oh, it. Yes, I just saw it. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, you can see it right here. Oh, there it is. Yes, guys. Yep, you're good. I'm going to wait until we get on the hill on my way. Yeah, I got to get on top of that hill. It's jumping in while the uh, connection stabilizes. So guys, you can see, watch this thing turn right. Right here, actually. Maybe you could see it better on this. Yeah. 
See, so it's going straight north and then, wait, no, it's not it. That's it. All right, this is it. Um, you see right at the end, it starts going right. And then you could see this white in here. This is hail. This is the hail core. Um, so right now they are right here. They're making their way down. They're, they're you know, being conscious of traffic and all these things like that. But they're making their way down towards Parker, towards Castle Rock. They're in Watkins now. And this is the supercell. So it's their... There we go. Stream stabilizing. Yeah, big edge on the left side there. Big, big lowering. So I can get you on that road. I'm going to, if I can put this back on the dash, I'll get it pulled up. It's a, it's a dirt road and grid. It'll stabilize in a second, guys. We have a connectivity box in there. Let's see, are we coming back just yet? Not just yet, but all right, let's look at, now we're good. That's strong enough to do anything to us so we can intercept our regular vehicle, so don't worry. It's true. In the history of climatology, they're usually pretty weak this close to I-27, except for the winds are tornado. <laughs> yeah, wait, 20 seconds. <laughs> that was the F4. We have a good visual on top of that helmet today right now. All right, we're, while that's coming back, we're going to look at this thing on velocity. Velocity is how we see what the rotation is, and it looks like we're coming back. Way down, doesn't it? Damn, that's going to produce a tornado, guys. That's insane down there. If it's not already. Right. Yeah, that's really low. Look at that lowering just on the east side of the wall cloud, too. What a bulge. I mean, damn, we you know, actually, you can get to this highway and go south. It's going to come right here. Yeah. So just go to the highway and go south if it works. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, we got time, too. So yep, we got time, too. I can see you guys. Sorry, let's just look at south towards Parker. Big Lauren. A little chasing convergence as well. I got this dash, the audio dash. Who put this power on? Yeah, who put this? Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I see it over there. No, I see it. Yeah, I see it over there. <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take an order? All right, guys. We are currently right now tracking the east to get to this highway to drop south. This is our tornado warning storm right now. They have not yet extended the warning, but I am going to assume that this warning is going to extend up here towards. Uh, what's the name of that town? Bennett and uh, Denver International Airport. That is the storm looking to the south. Big time lowering over there as well. Might need to get into a little bit deeper moisture, but it's already starting to turn right. I was thinking about putting on my jacket. But... No, no, I can handle it. I got an athlete. You do? Okay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I can jacket. Jacket. 
we pull over or go to that north south road? Go to that go to that road. Go to that road. Closer the better. Grab the wheel so you can put a jacket on. That's a storm cruiser. I thought so, that's what Okay, so this is the storm that they're on here at this Ponderosa Park. It's going to the Pinery. It looks like it could produce a tornado at any time. So if you're in the Pinery, get to your safe place for sure. Also Parker, also Ponderosa Park. Um, this is the track of the storm. You see this white line? Whoops, sorry. They're coming back in a second. This white line here shows the track of the storm. This is where it'll be in 15 minutes. This is 30 minutes. And this is where it'll be in 45 minutes based on how fast the storm is moving, which is, if I remember correctly, 28 or 35 miles an hour here. There we are. We're starting to get them back here. Yeah, and just to let you, you know what those guys are doing, if you want to track their location, you can look in the description and there's a link to uh, a website called Highways and Hailstones. And it looks like this and it shows their position relative to the storms. And what they're doing is they're trying to work east. You see, they were looking out the passenger window and that's because they're headed east and they're looking south because they want to stay ahead of this as it goes um so they are let's see about yeah they're about right here they're moving this way to stay on this and to kind of get into this open air over here um welcome new members thank you very much for supporting the channel uh guys let's we have about half the people in here. Please hit the like button. This helps us to grow and get this stream out. Uh, so anybody in the area can, can see what's happening with the storm. Stand by one sec. We're going to get our video back. Okay, so we'll look at velocity here. The velocity is how we tell if something is rotating right now. So this is the velocity, right? So if you, you zoom out and you kind of look at where the radar is, which is right here, and green means something is uh, going towards the radar, red means it's moving away from the radar. Hold on one sec, I gotta, let me change this here. There we go. A little bit more standard color color palette. So red means moving away from the radar. Green is moving towards. So you can see this is this is moving towards. This is moving away. This is moving towards. So basically, you have rotation. We'll get a visual in just a second here. Looks like they're outside the vehicle checking it out. So it seems like they're in a good position here. Here we go. So we're having audio interference, but I'll leave the picture up. You can see the lowering there. There's, there's a wall cloud there. You can see that they're dealing with dirt roads there. Dirt roads sometimes not very good when, with storm chasing because obviously with a lot of storms, it turns, uh, you know, dirt turns to mud. So you really want to be cautious about dirt roads. Also dirt roads. Sometimes you're just driving along and then you suddenly run into like a ranch fence and there's no getting by it. So dirt roads are, are tough, but sometimes necessary. Yeah, that thing is low. I don't 
think the audio is fixed yet, but let's just try it really quick. Yeah, you, you heard that. They're trying to say that could be a funnel right there. You obviously saw there's a huge lowering there. This is, if you see above me in the window here, again, this is the velocity, the couplet right here. That means it's rotating, and here we go. We're back. Looks like it's cycling a bit. Yeah, it's like right to us. We're watching this storm down here. There it is. That wall cloud, folks. There it is. Oh wow! Very low wall yeah, cloud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My plane's gonna struggle. Yeah. <laughs> right here, the tail off of the end. Oh, he did. Later out. He's back out of the airport. Take Right underneath these power lines. Not doing anything yet. But no. It's gonna. All right, there's the storm we're watching. There's the wall cloud looking down toward the pinery. And that's the one that we're watching. You can see the edge of the wall cloud, kind of a, a core of the storm here. That's probably the northernmost tornado warrant storm that has since fluffed out a little bit. But that's the storm that we're watching. And it is kind of heading in the direction of DIA, uh, the airport. So keep that in mind, but it obviously already has a lowering. And we're gonna stay here and continue to watch this storm. Very low on this. Very low wall clock. You think this is the storm, Jaden? I think it is. Yes. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Oh no. I know. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, man, this is great. And then, like, two sands loaded. Yeah. I was like, what the? All this. Yeah. Dang. Dang, that's going to get messy quick. Hey, it's going to be in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, there we go. Good light storm. Mm -hmm. yep. Alright, we gotta do a last slide. I should probably do one too. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, 
getting into this. And uh, this is definitely the wall cloud. The tornado wall cloud that is blocking off these north north feet. This does have a tornado potential. Definitely the wall cloud out there as well. As it moves towards this area, we have heavy subsonic events that can be dominated free, ready to deploy. This is the dominant storm so far in the half of tornado warning. It's relatively cool. Northeasterly is flowing right into that bank. And this storm certainly has tornado potential as it lifts off to the north northeast. Denver International Airport is in the path of this storm. It's likely going to be a long track in supercells in northeastern Colorado. That tornado potential. An earlier tornado storm that was approaching the southeast side of Denver. Live too. Right? <laughs> he did. Ooh, look at that. Live and as live. I got live as live for the live version. We got something there. What is that? Got a nub. <laughs> got a nub. Everybody's shooting ass lives now. <laughs> About 500 of them. Faces. Convergent motion on that eastern side now. <laughs> it's definitely rotating on that eastern side. It's trying on that side, isn't it? Mm hmm. The internet's coming in. Looks like it might be wrapping some rain south of that. On stream, Brandon. What do we got going on here? Well, Everybody this is Brandon Montgomery. Why do Max and Walt probably got going on back there? We see the view through your lens. Yeah, then they got some uh, rotation back there, and as you can see, I can zoom way in on that, get a detailed look at what's going on way out there in the distance. So that's the main goal, even if we're away from we're going to get the shot. It doesn't matter. Got vigil! There's a knot! <laughs> We're gonna be at like 80 degrees, 90 degrees tomorrow. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's back later now. Do you see why I moved away from Colorado now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna happen in that notch. Look at that. I noticed that. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's a little windy there, obviously. Uh, close to a tornado. Oh, we just saw some lightning there. Um, so, this is uh, if you look above me in the window, this is the storm that they're on here. Um, and they're 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 watching. Is this going to produce? It's it's putting down little nubs. It, the ball cloud is you could see right there, extremely low, and they're in position to go and intercept it. Today they have the Dominator three, the the tornado intercept tank. 
that's the vehicle that we're in. Um, and so if this puts something down, we're, we're going in on that. Uh, let's see if the wind's died down a little bit here. That's fine. I'm not shooting right now. So if you want me to keep the, uh, keep, <laughs> hold down the Ford, I can. Yeah. How's the radar looking? Uh, I think it's just going to be about to get to that boundary. It's going berserk. Oh, it's flank. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's turning right hard. Yeah. We are in bad shape for real. Get blocked in here. Get blocked in. Yeah. It's going to be difficult to get out. Yeah, guys, can we please get uh, a like rally? Let's get let's get up to eleven thousand likes here, please. We have uh, just half the people in here. Got to hit the like button; it really does help us, so we're able to keep bringing this to you and keep improving the product. Um, so, do us a favor, dominate the like button, and um, yeah, we'll just we'll stay on this storm. And if it produces, we're on it, and we're gonna we're gonna bring you with us. Warm, Brian? <laughs> like two pigs squirming in a burlap sack. Let the let the yellow blow up. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what's in that knot. Oh yeah, it is a carousel in there. See that? The right to left movement of the uh, yeah. carrot? Yep. Right to left of the yellow pole. Yeah. What's up? I'm holding the reach stream here. Okay, good. Man. You have yeah, reach stream and vortex stream with each other? Yes. We lie to each other, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. How are you? Good. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you see the Elko surging out west out of the Kansas right now? No. no, 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 no. Look behind us, Brian. I'm worried about it. It's just like it's probably 80 it's degrees in Kansas. This is freaking right. 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 Man in the ship right now. Thank you for doing that. No problem. <laughs> Nobody ever wants to hold the street. A <laughs> hundred people around the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting attacked by a tumbleweed here. Coming back in a second here, but this is, this is the storm here and we're going to look at it on this because I make the software a little bit better. Um, so it's, it's cycling. So storms, they, they try to put down a tornado and then they, they, they kind of take a minute to breathe and then they may try again. So that's, that's what we're looking at. It was, it was trying to do something and now it's kind of cycling. Um, here we go. We got our video back. Oops. Oh yeah, you can hear it buzzing. Yeah, I'm saying getting attacked by road tumbleweed. I'm just gonna get ready to go. Yeah. 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 Maybe because of the lightning. <laughs> Where is that? We're probably okay now until this thing gets a little closer to us. Oh, yeah. I might just walk a little bit. Yeah, there's the other tornado warned one. I don't want to get too far away from either, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I maybe just want to wait for it. I think if it hits these poles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to chase tomorrow at least. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah, we can 
back up out of these lines. Just here. Golf, uh, half dollar size tail going to Denver right now. Quarters and half dollars. You want to keep going east a little bit? I just want to get out of this line. I do too. It's getting really annoying. <laughs> yeah. We'll, be, we'll get out of it all eventually. Yeah. I'll let you know if you clear the highway, you can just back out right on the highway. I think I'll be want to wait for this for a little bit. Yeah, we can. I just want to get closer to it. Just go east and north, right? You can, yeah. It's coming right at us, so. We can get used to that north-south option because it's going to come right to that north-south option. Yeah. It is turning right a little bit. Just not a huge hurry yet, but yeah, we can do it. Me neither. No, whatever you want to do. I was just it's keep, yeah. keeping us ahead of the game right now. So. There it is, folks. We're looking at that tornado warning storm. Man, I we need to go east, way east. Whew. He feels good. I God, why are we chasing the cliff? Right Anything here. further east that looks interesting at all? That one? That flag that one? Is that on tops doing anything? Ooh. But there's also outflow we have to shove this way too. Uh oh. Yeah. This is probably our play as it moves into northeast Colorado here. Two cars. Three cars. Yeah, we'll be okay. I was gonna give it a little time. I'm gonna get to that road. Yep, right here. Yeah. Go and stop. Hold on. Yeah. So we might. So while we're going through this little, uh, it's probably power lines. Probably the gigantic tornado tank that they're inside that acts as a Faraday cage. Yep, we have antennas. Um, but, uh, while we get through this connectivity thing, you could see here as everybody was quite worried about Denver taking a direct hit. It's this, this storm that was tornado warned. It's, you know, it's still moving. It's still rain, but it's not tornado warned or severe warned. So these storms are kind of bending east of the uh, Denver metro area. And, you know, if you're wondering what the what's going on with the chasers right now is that there's, there are several of them that are, that are all in agreement that this is a storm that, uh, has the highest likelihood to produce. So they're kind of moving in a bit of a convoy, but then it, get, it gets to be a problem, obviously, if everybody's on the same dirt road. So they need to reposition now instead of wait for something to, uh, start to happen. And then it's just a cluster, you know, to try to get out of there. Uh, but I just want to say thanks to all the new members. Thanks guys for getting our likes up to 11,000. Maybe we could get to 12,000. Uh, also wanted to thank Blackhawk NZ for gifting memberships. I, I know I've missed a bunch of, uh, new members. Uh, definitely missed a bunch of new members. Also missed the joining of, uh, Carliana WX. Carliana is a great content creator. You guys should check her out. She's Carliana WX on uh, Twitter and I think just about everything. She just made a uh, video about historical perceptions of tornadoes over time, which is worth watching here. Stand by one sec. We'll get this. We'll get this fixed. There we go. Coming back here, but, uh, okay. So just an overview of the day for everybody. Well, looks like we're back. I'll give a quick overview and then get out of the way. Overview of the day. This is the area. This is America. This is the area that the SPC warned us about the, this, um, this right here on the edge of Denver is where we are, right? 
and you can see the SPC, they pretty much always nail it. You can see all of these yellow boxes are severe thunderstorm warnings. And then the red boxes are tornado warnings. So if you're new to this, it goes yellow box, you start paying attention big time. Red box, things have turned way up. So yellow boxes kind of turn into red boxes. They're called polygons, technically. You know, they are polygons. So, but we I call them boxes because it's less syllables. But uh, so here we are in the enhanced wrist area. The guys are on this and girl. We have Sierra Lindsay in the car. Great chaser. Uh, and you know what? We're stabilized, so I'll, I'll go to them. Well, sounds like the audio needs restart. Uh, okay. This is the, uh, so this is reflectivity that shows all the storms. If we zoom out, you can see this was the area that the guys were really targeting where they thought the environment was right. And by environment, I'm talking about like wind shear and temperatures and dew points and all these super technical things, but looks like we're back and it looks like this storm is going to head towards that more favorable environment. It was already trying to produce in, in a less favorable environment. So it's definitely a storm that they're going to stay on and pay attention to. Um, let's see here. Let's look at this thing on velocity, see what it's doing here. So velocity again is you see where things are relative to the radar. So it looks, it's very ugly at first, but this is one of the most useful feeds you could do if you're uh, storm chasing or trying to spot a tornado uh, with radar. Not bad. All right while we're working through the connectivity. So these, the, um, this feed, the red and green feed, this is the velocity feed. This tells you the velocity of wind and precipitation relative to the radar. So green means moving towards the radar and bright green means moving towards the radar really fast. And red means going away from the radar and bright red means going away from the radar really fast. So if you look, you know, up here where our storm is, you can see there's green and red next to each other. So that means this storm is rotating. Um, when you get to, this thing is kind of messy right now. It's not, it's not really any more like an isolated supercell, which is, it's more easy to show off features and to kind of pay attention and know what the heck is going on with it. Um, but it is still tornado warned in this tornado warning. Let's see here. Let's just see the latest on this tornado warning. Tornado warning for another 10 minutes. Severe thunderstorm at 4.04 p.m. Mountain time. Severe thunderstorm. Capable of producing a tornado is located seven miles north of Ponderosa Park. Hazard, tornado, and golf ball size hail. Source weather spotters reported a funnel cloud. Impact, impact flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Southern Aurora, Eastern Parker, and Ponderosa Park. So take cover now if you're there. These storms, oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was showing this screen here. Here 
we are coming back now. Guys, we have a connectivity box we take. We have, uh, we're stabilizing, but we have two T-Mobile cards, two AT&T cards, two Verizon cards. We turn it into one big data pipe. So basically, we're not getting signal. There's not much signal to get. Um, so anyway, it's coming back steadily, and hopefully as we continue to move towards I-70, um, it'll improve uh, without a doubt here. So... Again, we're not missing anything. Don't believe tornado uh, spotters have reported a funnel cloud, but not necessarily a, a uh, full blown tornado. We also do get some interference from obviously giant supercells in the area, create havoc a little bit with the uh, signal. All right, we'll keep on this and we'll just we'll just study radar until it, it um, that evens out. So we kind of use three different feeds to really kind of get a diagnosis on a tornado from radar. And one is reflectivity, and that's this. This is just rain and precipitation and hail. Like this little guy right here, that's hail. Um, and we also use velocity which is this one. Huh. So, and we also use echo tops, which tells you how tall a storm is. Cause it, it tells you what the hell was that? how tall a, a storm is. And so this storm looks like it's around 35,000 and 40,000 feet. So that's a tall storm. Um, it has stayed about this size for a while now. You can see as we zoom out, these are, if you're wondering what the green polygon is, that's a flash flood warning. We have a tornado warning out here in northern Kansas. This is a severe thunderstorm, severe thunderstorm. And of course, what we're on right now, which is our two um, tornado warned storms, we're on the uh, southeastern one here. So here we are. We know we haven't missed anything. Stand by one moment. And let's see, just so you guys know, if we're ever on chases and, and the guy sees something, if we don't have a signal, we always put out, we have our fully edited videos in 4K out the next day. This is one from the Linnaeus, Missouri tornado. This is uh, this was earlier in the day in Linnaeus. Um, and then this was the, uh, this was the tornado that set down. This was just a couple of days ago and it was wild. Um, so if you guys haven't seen that video, watch that video. Um, there is a lot of read yelling in it, but it is a uh, it's one of the crazier looking tornadoes that I've ever seen for sure. But it looks like we're are we kind of steady. I'll leave I'll leave that up there. We could look at this this crazy wedge while this connection uh evens out there so this is um this is the angle of that storm from Jaden pappenheim who was holding the uh, stream phone for us before Jaden's a really great chaser you see right there this yellow flash if you're kind of new to storm chasing if you're if you're new to this stuff if you're chasing at night and you see a green flash close to the ground that's 
that's a power flash and that's from a transformer exploding. And that's how we know that there's a tornado on the ground. If it's like totally dark out and we see a green flash, you'll hear everybody say power flash, because that means that's a confirmed tornado. It's on the ground there. Um, so that's why we, we zoom in on this. And yeah, this thing was a complete monster. Again, we'll go right back to the guys as soon as the signal, you know, evens out for you. But in the meantime, um, again, you want to see this and the coal intercept is worth looking up for sure. Let's try them now. All right. Getting through it, getting through it. So yeah, there's this this tornado. It it it, it was given a, actually a rating. It looks like a monster, monster, monster. This was actually only given a rating of EF two. Um, so it's super scary looking, especially with all that lightning. Um, but just so everybody knows, it, we actually, this people who watched the stream didn't actually miss this tornado happening. We were, they were there for it, but still we got it out the next day. And also the next day we do, you know, we try to explain things a little bit. So it's definitely worth a, worth a watch, even if you catch it on the stream. This is a little look inside the Dominator 3, that armored tank that you're on. This is the uh, the system that anchors it to the ground if they're going to get hit by a tornado. Lowers it to the ground and puts spikes in the ground. And I think we have a good signal again. Ha <laughs> ha 
I heard it in my car the other day when we hit the RFD surge and crawl. Yeah. <laughs> Not fun. I thought it was pretty 100 fun. 100 mile an hour winds and golf ball size hail. I don't yeah. know how the back windows didn't go. I thought it was pretty fun. I was having a good time. It was fun. I was also in the Dominator. It was a little sketchy and I couldn't <laughs> see anything. And then, Hey, I was looking for my Gatorade. I found it. Yeah. Thank you. Got thrown into the front seat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> found the Gatorade, folks. Found the Gatorade. Yeah. You're drunk. Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hellfire. Do not have any good thing about Hellfire. We're in the game of Hellfire. Right? Did he ruin the flinch over again? Oh! Extensive. Just that one. That was good. Was good. I didn't get the, the bowl, but I got the thunder. There. You got that one, though. You got that bowl. Oh, did I? You said, did I? I have the bowl. She's like looking down her Is Jane behind this? Okay, right here. Okay, right here on this on this van. Is it Jane behind this? Turn right to merge onto I-70 East. Go get him! <laughs> Go get him! <'em. laughs> So we were going to think about getting on Highway 34 and running east-west with it, but we might as well get right in the deer trail and run east with it, uh, just stay right underneath it. Yeah, give, give a closer look. 40,000 top. Why is everybody trying to race me? 40,000 tops. A uh, little rotation, not a lot. There is a base back to ourselves tucked in way down there uh, but right now roads are very limited we do have two big cells here this one's pushing 50k they're Kyota or Kiowa there's a lower base east of this feature maybe they could be in or that's it So I think what we're gonna do, yeah, 36? Yeah. Okay. We are right here. We're gonna go up here and get on 30, Highway 36. Uh, tuck it right into this storm on the edge. Yeah, it's really elevated. Yeah. Needs to start moving east, not west. If it gets a higher top, it should feel those westerlies and go for east. Yeah, that's... Nice base back behind us, too. But it's kind of elevated. Anything back behind us that looks any interesting at all, like even directly behind us? Oh, well, we're pretty cold. Looks cold to me. Bushy. Bushy. I do. I... 
I do like the way it's starting to lower. It is starting to lower now. Yeah. Turn left. <laughs> well, Celsius energy drinks just took me to the moon today. <laughs> they do. Yeah. You are clear to the right. Wait, where would I go? Look at these people hiding on the road. Hiding from nothing. Weak sauce here, guys. There's a wall cloud on that north side that maybe that north side could do something too. But northeast ways. Should think keep an eye on these two. It's like stas. See it out there? Just on the north side of that thing. It's got an edge to it, it's oh, kind of a high base. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See it on the wall. It's actually pretty convective on that eastern edge. We're looking back toward uh, the city, back toward Denver. Ooh, big lightning. If that deer trail one dies, this one, you guys, is gonna be the one for a while. Look at it, look at it, uh, the radar, look at the two inch tail marker. See it? This is what they look like out here. Give you guys a little position update. Basically, right now, they are right here. So they're kind of between these two cells here. Yeah, we can get out of the here. Up to you. Yeah, I say that's a nice wall cloud finally. Look at the RFP arch on it. There's motion on that pole too. Now we're talking. Yeah, deer trail might die and this will absorb it. It's Marcus. Um, hey, come here! Oh yeah, go ahead. Here, look out! <laughs> hey, how's it going? How are you guys? We're hanging good, in there. You? Good. You think it's going to be that one or that whisper? The whisper. I think it's going to be that one. I think it's going to be the whisper after the whisper merges. But I think that's a nice convective wall cloud right there, though. Look at that. See how convective it is? Oh, yeah. RFD arch here. Oh, yeah. Hi, right Edgar. Good to see you. How are you doing, Marcus? You're fine. Back. How's the day? He's fine. Yeah. He's doing fine. Nice. That might be. Might be. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. It will hit this boundary. It looks nice and convective. Already motion. Look at that. It's starting to wrap already. I think that's going, guys. We may want to consider a new north option on this. 
There, that's the road, maybe. That's the road. Yeah. Look at how convective it is. Front edge. That might be it. Yeah. <laughs> that eastern one's elevated. It's going to pull that in. Yeah. What do you guys think? This has got to be it. I think this one's definitely it. Yeah. Let's go north. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Yeah, get some flex tape on that knee. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You're gonna go up to that road where that van's going, and then left, and then back to this highway. You think that's the uh, right play? Gonna around. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. What do you say? Wow. Is it, yeah, we'll take that left up there. Okay. <laughs> Clear. 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 Damn! Look at that front edge. It's already got tendrils on it. Got what on it? Tendrils. tendrils. Mm -hmm. He already has tendrils on it. Is it mushy? No. No. Got your, got your. It's uh, not. I just like that word. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying a lot. This is gonna take ten hours. Oh, poor guy. He's got a Viking jersey. Does he have Corey's busy? Why? All right, guys, there it is. Convective wall climb. We got visual. These are ra radar chasers here. Boy, is it pulling hard left. Hopefully we're not. After one way. Yeah. Why is it pulling so hard left? Might be the road. It's going right. Okay. It's pulling right, but it might be the road. It is definitely the road. I think Jaden wants us to take this. Yeah, this will be you right here. Dan Fitz. You like that? <laughs> you like that? Take it right here, or is that north option? Uh, you can you can turn right here. Okay. Looks like the north option is back there, but it's a hell. It's right here. That ends up here though. You're gonna have to go back that way. Yeah, then we'll go back east. Yeah, just, go, just turn north again. up here and go east and north again. Yeah, that's all we can do is jump. I don't know how good these roads are going to be. They're okay. All right. They're not too bad out here because of the limestone right here. Yeah. Not too bad yet. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't rained on it yet. Yeah, I'd like to get out ahead of that thing, you know. Keep an eye on Deer Trail. Watch. Yeah, like the front of that wall top right there. I get to see this deer trail. I want to hit that and spin it in. Yeah. Maybe it's straight. Okay. Babe, it's going to come off the Palmer Divide. We're going to chase it up to Fort Morgan. Big time tornado hits Fort Morgan. Look at this. FB3. Yeah, we'll see tracks. Oh, yeah. If we can get up there. Oh, we're going to get there. Then this road needs to be off the track here. As long as we don't get to be done, we're going to force you right back here. Drones stay pretty hard. Either. I'll just take that up to Wiggins. Even over east. Or you could do this. We can stair step it all the way up. We can go east there. Blue green could be Yeah, here. Just so you can see. It goes boop. Okay. Starting route to Fort Morgan. We have that just as a backup, guys. Absolutely. In 1.1 miles, turn right. There's that wall slot off to the right, left, I mean. And it'll take a while for this thing to get going, but it is a wall cloud. I can keep it pointed out the window of the floor. Oh, sure. Thank you. What's our battery at?
looks like. Uh, okay. So here we are. Boom. We're a little bit north of the road here. So we're we go to buyers. And they're a bit north of that. So they're about right here, if you can see that. Let me pause the animation on this. They're about right here. All right, so we have a new tornado warning right here on this storm. This is a uh, radar indicated. The storm is moving at 22 miles an hour. Let's see if we get any. Um... So here is the rotation. Whoops. Right here. This storm is headed for buyers. It'll be there in about 30 minutes let's see I'm getting a uh look at this cloud here wow I'm just going to put, put me up to kind of silence that a little bit.
It's an old one of the bar in back of that. All these stories. Interesting. Coming. Lauren behind you that's got rising motion on it now. I want to see the motion. We've just got to stop for two seconds. It's about the certain point. Oh, big rising motion back behind us. Look at that, back behind. RFP is wrapping around this whole thing, guys. We got dirt up here right underneath that deal. Oh, look at that. Go straight up to the cloud base. Here, we, uh, we can bring it up here if you need to. Big dust action. Oh, it's rotating right here. It's yeah. rotating right here. It's rotating right at uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. That's going all the way to cloud base. It's rotating. Look at it all the way to cloud base. Conveyor belt. Was rotating for a second there. Dirt to the left. Uh, or not even a. Wow, this is going all the way up there. Come on, man. Oh, good. That inflow going all the way to it. They're just trying. What's this right above it, too? Yeah, it could be high base. That's going nuts. We're just getting hammered. Keep going north. You can stay on this. This inflow. Yeah. Pretty cold there. Keep an eye out behind us on that circuit right here. Yeah, back here. You usually we'll wrap them in back behind right there. See that? That inflow coming in around that leading edge, so That's right it. there. This thing's gonna do it eventually. It's gonna yeah. clear that, I think. Yep. I think you're right. Yeah. Differential motion, this is the way to get the RP right there. Oh, yeah. Can I keep going straight for a while? You can't, there you go. Know, you can literally just keep going straight. Yeah, yeah just keep, keep going straight. Even though there's, there's a stop sign right here, though. I want to get around that lip, so. Yeah, on the north side of that. I don't know how great the road is, but. You can definitely what do you think? Keep going, keep going north. You can always jog east. Okay. Yeah, as long as you don't smoke with the rain, this gets muggy. Yeah, it's plant. Yeah, we're fine. It's not moving that fast. Yeah, look at that spin up there. In one mile, keep right onto East 96. Ours is taking on a beautiful shape on the radar. Maybe for a See that one? It's been so long. All the way up to the cloud base, Jordan. Is it? It is. Getting inflow up and over the <laughs> northern lip of the RFD, but I think that Loring's due west of us. Look at it. Yeah, it's gonna be over there. So quick position check, they're about right here. So if they're looking off to the left, they're seeing that this, uh, this is the hell core. So if you, if you see when he looks to the left, look for a little greenage in the clouds there. That's the hail core. And that's, that's basically, you know, there's like eight miles, seven to eight miles of precipitation up there. And it bends the light, uh, with all the hail and all the, all the, um, there it is. There's the green hail core. Little bit of greenage, you see. Yeah, A is pulling an inflow around. 
I'm building against the RFD here. And uh, see that underneath that convec development on the front side? Yeah. You gotta watch that. Left to right. This whole circulation is pretty good. To get up there, look at that new circulation. Yeah, there's a cigarette cloud up there. Cigarette cloud. Yeah, let's go east. All right, we're rolling. Sorry, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's the east. Damn, wall caught on the deer trail storm. Yeah, it's getting pulled in though. Look at that thing. It's really gone surface base. It all are all of a sudden. It's on the clock. <sighs> it's tornado time. Get there. Where's the next north option? Uh, about a mile. 1.8 I've got my Barron's Road, but we can go. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I have it here. Like it's it's big hill corn right behind us too, so literally like right there. Yeah, this is actually the storm that they're on that actually just went severe. They're not on this storm that's tornado warned. I don't think they're here. And now they're looking at this storm. So they're looking left. They got a storm to their left. They got a storm. This is to their left. This is to their right. That's ours. Yep. Adams County is the one we're on. Yep. One point two. Damn! What a cigarette cloud that has. Roadrunner, no jackrabbit. Turn left onto Barron's Road. Boy, this door yep, is. that is the north option I was thinking of right yeah. there. So, if your GPS is telling you, that's probably right. It goes back to the west, though. Your, it's gonna go. No, it goes to the north. It goes straight north. It's that highway. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to chop a little bit. Do you want to go? Uh, well, you go east. I'm just gonna turn left to point six. I've got Fort Morgan typed in, so it'll take us there. This gets you up this highway there. Did ours get warned? So quick thing, what's a cigarette cloud? It's also called an inflow band. I'm going to try to get a picture of one that I took because, um, right. Um, it'll take me a couple of minutes, but it's basically, it's, it usually extends to the kind of, to the Northeast and it's just this, it's very, this very clear band. I'll, I'll show you guys a picture of it. Clear my way. In two miles, turn right onto East 112th Avenue. In your ear? Northstorm gave you a wet willy. <laughs> Everybody, we're just staying with this lead storm right now. Kind of headed in the general direction of Fort Morgan. We're gonna stay up with these storms. They just crossed into the good easterly winds, and we'll have to see how they respond. In one mile, turn right. That looks east pretty good. Structure a little earlier. They get pushed out over here. Push on that, all that dirt. Yeah. 
pretty sweet. There you go, guys. You can see off the left side, lots of dirt just lifting up, and getting pushed out. That's kind of dark. It's punching my feet. Yeah. Got to clean these other storms. Really quick, while they're getting the bearings of what's the latest with the storm, this is a photo I took on Storm Chasers in 2011. This is a cigarette cloud. Um, again, also called an inflow band. You see, ah, oh man, I can't really draw on it. But you see there's a lowering. That's the wall cloud. And then you see this darker, very defined line. That's the cigarette cloud or the inflow band, or the tail cloud. There's lots of different versions. Ooh. Looks like a wrap. Proceed to the route. our position on this thing and we got that storm off to our east that's trying to intensify too there's the lowering damn just can't see anything with all this dirt too much dirt Dust. Oh, all that dust. Turn Holy right cow. onto East 128th Avenue. Yeah, go go follow them. Yeah. Damn, it's pulling in a lot of northerlies, guys. Look at that inflow band. Look at this inflow band on here. That RFD is surging. See that? See the RFD surge? Is that the RFD surge or the next storm? That's part of the RFD surge straight into the next storm. Yeah, look at this thing surging. Point nine, I can go back north. Yep. Can you shoot a little of that on this one too for me? Yeah, here, here. I got you. It's just so cool. Pull it back to the point five too if you need to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll get you at point five after ten so you can cut it if you need to. Bless you. Absorb this, and just everything will go. Man, that, that looks freaking good. Freaking right in the eyeball again. Yeah, yeah, here's our left turn if you want it. Turn left onto Morgan Road. Oh. Yeah. Eat and breathe any of this stuff. We're gonna get pink eye out here. I know. It says here if you continue straight. <laughs> That's what it does. 
Take a laugh. Jeez. You're clear. You're clear. <laughs> no thanks. Sure you don't want to take that room. I can still see this good back to the cot. Look at that, that front edge. It's like, which one's going to do it? <laughs> I guess. It's not going to be that east one. 100% In chance. theory, it should be the east one. Yeah. It should be. We're going to pass around. Rigid rain. Rigid rain. They're probably pulling in easterlies out there, and these are pulling in northerly on the west side of the Denver Cyclone here. You can kind of see the way the cell's oriented that it's pulling an inflow from the northeast, and these might be more. That stopped on the side of the road up here. That's the edge of the arm here. That's still got luring out of the left. Good, I just can't tell. It's so stupid. Yeah, it's kind of shitty. Just needs to clear out these storms. Turn right onto East 136th Avenue. Keep going north. Yeah, there's some motion there. Oh, yeah, so that rotation is right behind us now. Look at that, you're going radar. Yeah, it's, a, it's gonna wrap yeah, it, it is. We're going to be pull right over and look at it. I'm going to be pull over so we can look at it. Then we right at that. Yeah. I don't want to be stuck on north when we want to be east. The whole north street back. Yep. Pull down that window. Roll that window down. Right yeah, thanks. Oh, look at that. Well, Whoops. It's got, uh... Top drop is convecting. Guys, turn right onto East 165th. Careful, I might not be able to open my door. Yeah, you're good. Can I wait open? Yeah. 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 Right yes. Oh. Probably north. All right, let's yeah. watch the snow. <laughs> let's watch the snow. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're
Yeah, let's go north of that highway. Yeah. I agree. It's not... She ain't ready. Yeah, let's go north She's not ready, Reed. Base kind of sucked back up. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Place to stop. No, we're just trying to conversate it on maybe if your door's leaking or not. Yeah, I heard the uh, uh, I heard it go it leveled it up back up. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Also, well, there's lots of motion because it's RFD or like whatever it is. It's a scud. Or one mile. Take a left. Go through a merger. The rotation's off to our east. Yeah. They just warned it to Fort Morgan. Yeah. Maybe he go to Fort, Fort Morgan. Morgan. That's what I'd recommend. You have to take a left on Rector Leader Road anyway. Rectum yeah. Leader Road. <laughs> Sounds good. Rector. Rectum. It's Rectum Leader. Rector, right?
Jumping in while we have a little ditty signal. <clears throat> so you can see. Oh, now it's getting a little bit better. Diesel. Yeah, he's got diesel up here. Diesel. Drip this All right, so while while the the uh, signal evens out, you can see here. There's rotation here. <clears throat> what about you, Brian? It's chilling. In Cedar Rapids. In Cedar Rapids. <laughs> Actually, we are what Wiggins? Wait, just chilling in Wiggins. Wiggins. There's the Wiggins in every state, guys. Hey, they got diesel in Wiggins. They got diesel workings. Diesel. Diesel workings. Diesel. Diesel workings. Ah. All right. Got diesel. Hey, what up? You guys got diesel? No? Okay. Diesel. Dan's coming right up the hood. Looks like he's. It looks like they're going to intercept. Yeah, yeah. Dan. <laughs> this guy's back. <laughs> he's pulling back. Whoa, Nelly! Oh, that guy is. Oh, oh my gosh! Wonder why he's missing a headlight too. Oh, is that the, uh, part of the, uh, oh watch out! Ooh. You're good. Now you're good. What a mess! All these bearded millennials. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> what is it? Perfect. <laughs> Like I think they paint them on too. I think they paint on those beers. That's why it's important to have AT&T out here. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's why I'm happy I have AT&T. got another storm that he's throwing that fluffed out. Jeez, what the hell is this? What a weird dog. Yeah, it's not good. Should have just hung out in haze today. <laughs> You not have to be stroking. Bad, you're not. Yeah, have you guys tested me? Maybe you can that tonight, because I sure have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a burger. Was it bad with the athletic greens? Yeah, they do. I think if I take the athletic greens and don't eat breakfast at that. Yeah. All right, guys. So we are uh, just outside of. Uh, we're gonna be coming into Wiggins into Fort Morgan here soon. You can see. We do have a kind of like a cell merger. This one's gonna kill off that one. It's kind of a cluster right now. I don't like it too much. Your your window, here we go. We got an MD. Scattered supercells ongoing along the front range in a western Kansas, Nebraska will continue to pose a risk for large hail. A couple of tornadoes will also remain possible as low shear increases this evening. Get east out in front of that again. Diesel. 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 Got diesel. This guy does not have diesel in front of him. No. This thing is going nuts, you guys. Poor Morgan. I wonder why 
All right, we'll go back to them in a second when it evens out. But yeah, so this is, <clears throat> you could see, hold on a second. All right, see we have kind of one cell here and another cell here. There's another cell back here. <clears throat> and now we animate it and the cells go together. That can kind of that can kind of make a mess of things, um, and and it takes some time for the storms to reorganize if they do, uh, and see if they, you know, survive the merger if one absorbs another or whatever. So, <clears throat> I'm not a meteorologist. These guys are much better. But but what I'm saying is it's a little messy right now, and. With a bit more time, we'll get a bit more clarity on uh, what's happening. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe this is heading up for the yeah, well, These are our storms. They're headed up toward Fort Morgan. We're also watching the eastern one. Headed up toward Wiggins, Fort Morgan, Brush, and then probably east from there. There's 20 minutes on Fort Morgan, 20 minutes. Yeah, 28. You gotta stay highway up here. Stay here. Yeah, we're right here, gonna head up here. We're almost the highway stays on the Wiggins on the main interstates. There it is. What do you think about the prospects today? I don't want to have a, we're just working on what we have in front of us right now. That's all I can do. I mean, adapt and overcome. <laughs> my outlook is that hail is always very fun. No, we got sky balls on. Sky balls. We're yeah, we'll sky balls. Hail. Always work on sky balls. Take a slight left turn. We have a tornado on these and they lift up for a brush. Yeah. So calm, wind, wow. Back holes, we've got that tornado right in. Is there a ground circulation on that? What? Is there a ground circulation? Yeah, it's sent there, but... The cone of dust then left it for a bit, turning into a slender tube. HPV. Surprised he didn't play Palmer. He normally does. Yeah. I got one out. Miss you too, Mike. Good luck up there. Now another storm fire for the storm going into it. Yeah. What is going? First of all, when you're wobbling a little north, I guess. This is the mode I want to be on. For this amount of work. Maybe that'll stop. <laughs> this thing is kind of blowing some yeah, we're gonna have to eventually get to that bean, I guess. Really? <laughs> 
They all have a Subarus and a full beard out here. <laughs> Yeah, with the oh, yeah, with the with the big antenna for the stroke. Good thing I yeah. saw that. Your Symphonic got shot two down, but I put the back out. Because those are just your four batteries in the back. Ah, yeah. Courtney. Just wanted to take a second to thank Stealthy PS, one of our most supportive members, uh, donating 100 smackers to the cause. And uh, they also donated a bunch of memberships before, which is awesome. We have a ton of new members today. Um, we also, overall, it was just... Maybe it was two days ago, 
we hit our milestone of 750,000 subscribers. And I see us closing in fast on 755. So we are, we're going. <clears throat> and with that, more improvements, more improvements to the stream. We're going to keep putting everything into this um, and some other things too. Um, so uh, once again, thanks, Stealthy. So basically we're um, <clears throat> to give a uh, little overview. So they're going to Fort Mo Morgan right here <clears throat> because these are a mess for a little while, but you know, the, the chances are, aren't nil at all. These can definitely reorganize and then kind of, then, then go tornadic, um, especially in the next hour or so. Um, so they're kind of, you know, they're putting on cowboy hats. They're a little, they've been chasing for, for days. There've been breakdowns. It gets a little kooky in the car, honestly, especially when you, you get ramped up, you think a tornado is going to happen and then everything falls apart and now you got to reset again. So they're just kind of taking a minute to breathe here and, um, headed to Fort Morgan. But these, this is what has their eyes here. And thank you to Richard McClellan, new member and Erebus new member and everybody else. Thanks guys. And thanks. We we've, we've been crushing the like button today. Maybe in Fort Morgan, yeah. Can you do it in Fort Morgan a little closer to that cell? Fort Morgan or Brush even? Yeah. We're gonna get us a little better position on this if I know the street coming back. I'd like yeah, I'd like to get back out in front of it. Sure. I'd like to find a junkyard with a mixed boring and a bigger thing. How much gas do they have, you know? Yeah. Oh, that looks close. Yeah, we're not done yet. No. Sorry, we are not done yet. Not my bird, Rodeo. Not his first Rodeo, guys. Gotta go on the road for something. Be good right next to the bee plant. Should smell like butt right next to that. The sugar bee plant. Me too. Okay, surging wet. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's a good CD. Crazy lightning. 
any uh, bases or anything off the No, I can't see much right now. If it is, it'll be right there. There is big hill on that. It's actually really starting to try to wrap. It's going to adjust that cell again. That Easter one is right out of kink. Yep. But it may get interacting with the ground line. Right, we'll we got to get east! Can we see a base down there? Is there one? Not really. It's kind of cut off in the rain over there. We just got to get east. Cross the cut right in front of it. You get over. Yeah, thank you. Come on. Come on, Pete. See, we got places to go on a base. You say, let's head right in for brush. Yeah, it's right in front of the base. 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 Yeah, like, time to spit CGs out. Oh boy. Big base, that east side. That east side, side go to the east side one. That's going for a crash. Akron. There's possibly happening out there, so I wonder if Jaden can get us the brush. If he can get the brush. Probably want to get to that easternmost side. Oh, absolutely, especially at the daytime we have some. We're only 20 miles from there. If you can make it another 20. Let's do this, guys. The echo tops are erupting on that eastern one. Something's about to happen soon, I think. Don't look clear. We got orange on the horizon up there. There's your eastern one on there. Ooh, yeah. Zooking. It might cut that other one off. And now some bolts. Good for brush. Dude. I'll be in brush in 20 minutes, so we should be able to make it. I said I can barely touch 50. Oh, I can go back. Go back 50. So if I can barely touch 50, I get shoved back down when it goes. And then I go, big time. Oh, so I did have a big pass. I bump on that last one. Yeah, we're going to have big hail and tornado threat. Looks to be ramping up if we can get some more shear. Now, new MD did say the shear should start kicking in here very soon. We're good. Fort Morgan's going to smoke the tail, though. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, if you're in Fort Morgan, watch out. You got big hill coming. Ooh, I can see it. That wind stop. There's a wall cloud right over that right car. There. I can see it. I can see Probably it. Probably the western one. Oh, that's a big wall cloud. Yeah. Yeah, I see it now. Oh, yeah. Big wall cloud south of Fort Morgan right now. That's a huge wall cloud. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was like that whole rock. <laughs> Ooh, nice lightning on the eastern one now in the distance. Thank you very much, P.S. Very, very, very kind of you. Uh, a little embarrassing, but still appreciate it. Uh, thank you uh, also to uh, Lisa, M Lisa McClend McClendon. I had to make the window bigger. And Donna Falkenberg, who's always very supportive. Thank you very much, Donna. And New Age Caprice. Awesome. Awesome. Um, yes. Thank you very, very, very much, guys. Um, I'm just jumping in to update you. So these storms right here <clears throat> are getting more interesting. Uh, here they are on Echo Tops. This is how tall a storm is. The taller, the stronger, basically. So this storm... Oops, this storm right here, the one that they're looking for. See, it has that yellow, that little yellow guy right there, or amber. So that amber, let's see if you see on the bottom and sliding 30,000, 35, 40,000, 45, 50,000 feet. So that is a big storm. That means it's a strong storm. And they said that 
there's a wall cloud apparently that's that's really going on that so again we're getting interesting uh again and thank you again saying again too many times to to ps and uh everybody else who just gifted memberships back to the game And I'll just explain that too. Okay, so clean inflow. So he said the echo tops are better on this storm. Actually, I put up this. Reed was saying we're targeting this storm because the echo rather than this storm because the echo tops are better and it has access to clean inflow. So that means if you look at it here, this storm has Okay, there are two storms, right? Here's one storm. And you see all this here is open. So this is, this is, air can just be sucked in, no problem. With this one, not so much. So that's why this is a better target. On the eastern one or this one? Gotta be the eastern one. Yeah, definitely the produce. eastern one. Yeah, the eastern, eastern one's eastern got forward. And it's not confirmed though. Yeah, but it might produce first. Before we get to it. Brian Pesman is on it. We're about to be on it. Oh, this road east of Brush is gonna put its right oh, yeah. position. It doesn't we don't even have to go all the way to Akron. It's gonna like, get us right there. We have roads, we do have roads out of there. Ah, Be two tornadic storms uh, very shortly. Yeah, it's a tight rotation on our western. Yes. A lot more inequality. And you see, just as Jordan said, that we got a second tornado warning box here. So here we go. Yep, both the tour warrants. Both the tour warrants. Boom, boom, we got two tornado warnings. 
That is our wall, that is our tornado warden wall cloud right there to our south. That is really tight, both of them. They're both tight too. Not too bad, actually. Not like it was. I know exactly where we are. I used to drive this in the same all the time. It does. Alright guys, I'm going to show you this right now. I'm going to roll this window up. Read up here. Alright guys. Two tornado worn supercells. Boom, boom. We are right here in Fort Morgan. Two tornado warnings. Very tight couplet, just straight to our south. That is that wall cloud. And uh, another another uh, wall cloud right there, not wall cloud, circulation right there. We are gonna go east of Brest, Brest right there. So two tornadic supercells right now. Tornado in Fort Morgan. Right now? Right now. Yes, yes. John Humphreys said there's only streaming it south of Fort Morgan. Very likely could be, yeah. So trying to get to this guy right here. Both strong rotations on both, but I really like the eastern one as well. As a position check, they are like right here, right here. And these storms, <clears throat> excuse me, are going oh, that away and that away. These storms are headed pretty much due north. So they're right here and back to them. Hey, keep an eye out on that sun flag. Yeah. I might be able to see it from pretty far away. Might be wrapped in rain too. We're looking at that. So here they're not. Yeah, that is rotating. Is it? Probably is. It, it would be purple. Sure, it would be. It's to the east of Woodrow. Yeah, I believe. No, it is now observed. Yep. Yeah. It just turned purple. I think that's the one that Humphreys is on. Uh, uh, sending me a picture of? Yeah. Damaging tornado spotted. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We're moving in on a confirmed tornado south west of Akron, Akron. Yeah, so you heard that they're right here. They're moving east, tracking along with these cells. Let me just get it. Yeah, they're closer to brush. This tornado, this has a tornado on it. This has a confirmed tornado on it. Boot look to it. What? Yep. Yeah, you can tell by the way it looks that that wasn't that one. A little higher base. But maybe when it hits that moisture. Five you drive miles. right through that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It has a bun up top, maybe. It might. I think it might be. Lots of cycle, too. Birds. It almost 
almost see through it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Cycling like three times, there could be like three tornadoes in the ground at the end of We're gonna get in one today. We're gonna get down there and get in one. We are moving into a confirmed tornado right now. Uh, just saw a visual from Brad Arnold. There is actually a confirmed tornado. Uh, we're moving in on it now. We still got about an hour, two hours of daylight, I believe. Let me double check here. Still got about two hours of daylight, so. We got time. Good lightning coming out of that too. Oh. That was close. I heard that out the window. All right, right, right here. He's gonna have to catch up to us then. He can catch up to us then. Yeah. About the cut right in front of us. My radar says brief land spout near last chance. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I think that was a tornado though. Could have been, I think. They just call everything that's dusty a land spout. They do. Figured that happened. Here's some hail. peek right back into it so yeah it's still on the ground right now western cell is in the copy i think he just sees Markham county right you gotta get to that eastern one Maybe Dan's on it. Yeah, we're heading east out of Brush right now towards Akron. You can see the base on that thing. Southeast, you already can see the base. Alrighty. Alright, bye. Is that Jaden? Nope, that was Brandon Montgomery. He said he saw it, got wrapped in dirt, and they stuck on this north south road south of Brush. He saw it? Yeah. Which one? Uh, this one. All right, the one we're getting on? Yeah. It got wrapped in dirt, though. And he couldn't see it anymore because he got stuck on this road going, trying to get the brush. He saw it wrapped in dirt? He saw it, and then it wrapped itself in dirt. That's what he said. And then the rain came in. wonder what it looked like. Me too. So they're coming out of brush right now. <clears throat> and then they're going to start heading east on this road 34 here to get in front of this. So they're, they'll be going here. This thing is moving at... Let's see. It's kind of slow, actually. Hey guys, this is our road. Yep, this is our road. He's gonna be off to us. No, he should be getting gas. I think. Oh, still behind us. Oh well. Hopefully, he don't run out of gas. There's another cell about to hit it. 
I don't know why it keeps doing that. It is very small now. That's so stupid. Yeah. easily get in that thing. Yeah. Drive right through, didn't even have to drop. Just, woo! <laughs> yeah. Look at the next cycle on it. That'd be dominating. That one's on, on pace to like wrap, make it wrap harder, honestly. Yeah. It might not hurt it. We might get a tornado just before it hits too. Yeah. Look at that bean shaped cell. Johnny got it. Good old Johnny Allen. Birthday boy got it. Look at it. Yeah, we got it, Johnny. Dirt underneath, big bolt. Well, there's the cut. See that cut? Yeah. I think it's gonna hit that moisture. Maybe produce a good one. Maybe. This dirt scared the hell out of me. It's still tight. Look at that. The cup is very tight. It really is. That's it, right down there. Yeah. Um, there's, we gotta, we're looking right through the hail for it though. Yeah, but a lot of times out here you can see through it. <laughs> I might be able to. Probably not, but you might. Not yet. Tornado war storms, one near Fort Morgan, one just southeast of Brush. Need to punch an event. Hey, look, hold on. Hey, 
looks pretty tight still down there. And this one too. Right at the tip of the hook is trying to get hands off. Looks weird out here, but it's trying to cycle, I think. Possible new cycle happening. I'll put the heat there. Okay, we're coming back. Coming back. Come on. They're kind of going away from the interstate, but there we go. Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, it bounces down. Big hill. Oh, yeah, there we go. Woo! Oh, yeah. Big, big one. Big chunk. Come on, come on. It'll come back in a second. It's frustrating. Um, okay, so here's where they are. This is the hail core that they're on right now, getting pelted by. Yeah, that's this one right here. And then there's a new cycle to the east, but 
That could produce the top. Here, Brian, can you show up? Show up yep. with that or? Yeah, all right, tornado warning. Closing in. We're closing in. And you see there's a new tornado warning box here. Polygon. Don't correct. Don't correct me. Well, okay. These two just disappeared. Now this is the only thing. Okay. Now we have another one. Now we have two tornado warnings. And we're back. We're on the inflow. We're literally in the inflow. Yeah, we are. Is Jordan gonna? I mean, is Jake gonna stick this out? Let's see. Let's see. It should be just south of us. Take that on the ground. Right yeah. down. Your son. Yeah, once it's gone. Go back last week. Yeah, I do. Ten point five. Probably be able to flip a straight Ely. Uh, What's that left side? Wherever that CG's at. What's it? Definitely a circulation. So. Maybe right here? Maybe there's a wall cloud right there. Yeah, right there. Turn around. Yeah. Come on, guys. Turn around here. See how Jaden blocked the road for us, please? People are like shooting video. Like, hey. Your side. It's here. Got the stream. Yeah, see that wall cloud right out your window there. Ooh, wow. Yeah. He's probably Boy. safe. Yep. Damn. He's probably safe right here. Jaden? I don't know how far you guys come up. Oh, right God. there. Look at that. It might even be a tube right there. Yeah, that could be a nub. Proceed to the root. Proceed to the root. Oh, actually, might. Proceed to the root. Yeah, we do have that option of going to Akron and North, but I think we're trying to get on it right now. She's got it. We got you. Thank you, guys. Yep. Where's that right spinning right there? Yeah. Yeah, they're spinning. Yep. Yep, that is a clone. Yep. Get it. 
bureaucracy. <laughs> How's the next scan looking? All of a sudden, stand by. Got to make sure somebody didn't double tap. Yeah, we will be. You got to be careful. We're trying to get on it right now. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. You can stay on the, yeah, stay on the phone or what? It's wrapping around. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. 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 Jane's going to turn around and go, to, go back to Akron in the yeah, north. That is a nice knob in there. Yep, that's fine. Jane's turning around going east. You can't take anyone. He's going back from the north. He's got glass everywhere in the car. Oh, it's spinning hard on that one. Yep. Yeah, I can see that, guys. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Is there a little... Yep. You might need to, yeah. A little vortice constant? Yeah, I thought that. Uh, underneath yeah, it. Yeah. Put them in a little funnel. We have room to flip around. All right, here. Passing it to you. Uh -uh. It's spinning. Hard. Here we can go back in front. What? Yeah, we can go back in front if you have the streaming camera. Or if the front edge of the circulation, it is convective on that. See how convective that is? Come on, baby, this could be stretching. The rain wrapping around? You're watching that thing in the middle? Here we are. Let's look at velocity. Nope, they're back. It's about the plant right, right there. The yeah, hold on. Yeah, we'll send it back to you guys. <laughs> Here we go. We're about to go. Like, we're about to go. Is it? Here we go. Is it, is it, is it planning? Sure? Oh, yep, try. yep. Yep, it's going to try right here. Yeah, it is. It's trying. Accept it on foot. <laughs> Interesting. What are you seeing? Yeah, I'll show you. Sorry, not. Sorry, not you. <laughs> there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Get back to you. Let's go. All right. We got. Put this up in the window, or I guess I can hold out this window. Yeah, that's fine. All right, rocks on my feet, rocks on my shoes. We're going east. Oh, yeah, there's something back there. Yep. Right. Yeah, it'll be rain wrapped, but. Uh... There's something darker in there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Clyde kind of cleared everything out on its on its back side. Oh, it's Hey Jordan. I passed it up. I'm uh, I run one window. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Yeah. That's gonna be a blast. Come on, give me something. See anything back there? I'm not seeing anything yet. Difference of motion. Back into the hail back beyond us, I guess. I don't know why. Wait, what's going on? Looks like it's across the high. Right there. See the rotation up there? Unbelievable. It's all flowing into that wall cloud to our north now. Look at it. It's well spin. That might have been my tornadic winds. That's it. A little rope back behind us, see? Oh, yeah. Full circulation up there now. Look at it. Little funnel. Funnel. Shoot that funnel. What's the funnel? Okay. Let's shoot that funnel. Oh, another funnel to the right. Oh, yeah. It's trying to produce here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Rapid motion back behind us, too. Look. We got to get back and get on that road and go north, I think, potentially. Look, it's back behind us a bit. Back here, look! Tornado coming down! Keep shooting, Big yeah. funnel. Little funnel, see it? You got it? Help me with the live stream. Yeah. You shooting? Yeah. yeah, she's shooting, she's shooting. There's a funnel from the left, I think. Look at that thing go. Yep. It's trying right here. Did we can go north of this road? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. It might be muddy, though, and it's tough right. Yeah, it's muddy. Might have to take it to the floor, Will. Look at that. There's the funnel. Left side. Yep, big funnel right there. Hold on. Coming down right in front of us. Big funnel. Yeah. Look at that wrap left and right here in front of us too. I have to go right. How soon? Look at this descending, descending motion right in front of me. We're good, we're good. Right, look at that sticky motion door. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'll have to spin it too. All right, so. That's trying. It's going to plant maybe there. Yep. Yep. Let's go good. Oh, it's going to try right here. Yeah. Not already. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Right here. Mm -hmm. Do you want to, you got it? Do you want to hold the, you got the stream? Or, everybody good? I got it. We're good. Westerlies. Right, 
go right and then go back north. That's up there. T coming up. Here you go. There's a T coming up here. You're going to have to go right. It's coming up fast on you. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right in front of us, you guys. Even that one's trying now. Right? North. Yep. You can go north? Yep. Cool. You can keep going north and then just keep Dixie chaining it here. We're in the bear's cage, guys. That's not like. That's it. Welcome to the, look at that big, big circulation to the north. Hear it? Yeah, it, it's reconsolidating in the north. We gotta find about a north half option. Mile, about half mile, you can go there together. Big lowering. Big hail coming down. Bear's cage. Oh yeah, big southerlies into that new circulation. Wow, what a wall cloud, folks. Debris. Nothing. Big Woo. west release. Oh, it's trying to produce up there for sure. We said a uh, left option, half yeah, mile. coming up pretty soon. You guys see the uh, poles. Big CG. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you. I just don't want to roll You know what I mean? I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Definitely coming out of that. Yep. Fantastic. Get your camera rolling. Right, right, right. That's good. Okay, closing in closing in um hopefully we get signal come on here we go in front of us north gosh the rain is just coming in i just can't keep the stream up Doing good, heading north. We're on a dirt road right now. Uh, it's trying to our northwest. What are you doing, Jane? Yeah. Okay. Probably mud. How does radar look? Or L. L. Not good. Not good. Yeah. Let's take a look. That eastern storm was a tough mountain. All right. Let's take a look here. We are currently heading north, trying to keep up with the circulation here. It's not looking super great, moment, but.
Was that to our right out there? Just fast movements. I can't really see very well. Okay. some hail but the circulation tried to come up here and then it died out so you're doing good yeah you'll be fine oh thank you there's what is that over there what is that what is that utter i can't see. okay cool thank you i'm good Read, uh, it's, it's rising. Over here. just rising so much <laughs> might so get quick. some big hail though just coming in Careful. Yeah. Three inches coming in. Three inch hail. <laughs> like, yeah. Right now. Yeah, here it comes. My computer's getting sick. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. Coming right now down the road. Yep, here comes the hail. Alright, you wanna put the stream up there then? Sure. Or I can hold that the window. Whatever works. Whatever floats. I don't want you to take a three inch here. Yeah, we'll hold it out the floor. Yeah. How many are you gonna help me? See how big this floor is.
No. It was south of that highway, so it might have died when it burned. Yeah. Unless they just did a hail dump down there. Yeah, right. Yeah, go for it. Here we are, so we are about. Okay. We're about right. Yeah, we're right here. <clears throat> so we're right here on this storm. I'll stop animating it. So we're in the middle of all this rain. It just got another tornado warning, probably for this little hook down here. Yep. Doing all right. Yeah, for South Africa. Yeah, I'm going to put this on my way to the background. Maintain and seal. Apparently there's a fully condensed elephant trunk down here up when you get past the train. Yeah. So fully condensed to the ground right now. It's weird how it just quickly cuts off. <laughs> 
Uh, hey, boom. Nice lowering out there on the left. Look at that. Look at out my window if you want to see that lowering. You guys see that out to the left? Yeah. Is anybody? Just a little stud too, but it looks like it's trying to spin. Okay, tornado. You see that, Sierra? Yeah, right there. I mean, it adds a whole new layer to like the, uh, to the thrill of the chase. It's like, are we going to have signal when it, we finally get, um, <clears throat> when we finally get a view of it, they are, hold on, I got to do a couple different things here. Boom. A pretty wispy one. They're hitting this boundary and trying to produce, I guess. Anything on that southern form? I can't see anything. Can't see anything. Fire department. This is just a boundary interaction type deal. Making some weird things happen. Yeah. 
Where's Jaden? Maybe he saw it because he blasted the Akron. Did he see that thing? Really? Why? It doesn't look that good, but it does have a warning. But wow, we did miss a big tornado on Akron. It's six thirty. Damn. Where? Where was it? Who? Gotta do is keep going east. See this thing just fire right there, and then whoop. Insane for you. That's so weird. <laughs> like, how would we not have seen that? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Up right there. Yeah. When you're Boom. Right there. It didn't have much of a cup, but. Said to keep going east of the line. I'll expand on it. Yeah. Blasted east, they would have gotten it. Um, yeah. Makes no sense. I don't understand that. Yeah. I'll take that. Ridge Riders got it. Look at this, it just popped out of some random. That's crazy. That's how it happens in Colorado. Tyler and Lance Bound. 
how it happens a lot. There it is, guys. Ridge Riders got it. Job Connor. Follow him at Chasing W. Connor. C O N N O R. Look at that thing. There it is. Little noodle. Fully condensed. Just showing you guys real fast. I got the okay from Connor. Uh, who's, you know, he's been in the Dom. He's chased uh, with Reed a lot. So this is, this is what Connor Croth of the Ridge Riders saw. So yeah, we got a little soup. And you can follow him. He's chasing W. Connor. Chasing with Connor of the Ridge Riders. And he's a good dude and a good chaser. Back to these guys. Tell me. Ah, it's just. Are we in the Wells County? Oh, yeah. I don't want any Wobble County. Oh, that's the northern one up north now. Yeah, I can head up there if you guys want to. No, no. Anything to the south? Circulation on it? Not yet. Something goofy again. He's a great out here, you know. Take any of these. Circulation northwest of us a bit. See that? Here, don't say anything.
A little circulation back here. I don't know if it's going to do anything. Yeah, I got southeasterlies that are going up through that lowering to our north. But it, it looks, it doesn't look very good. So yeah, it's, they're, they're moving north, correct. Yeah, yeah, nothing really looks that good right now. I think that was a quick a fart. Maybe here. Still on this convergent line here. Things just keep building and building and building right on this boundary. Yeah, that's definitely the boundary there. Alright hey guys, we're trying to figure it out. We did miss a tornado back there somehow near Akron. We were like a mile and a half from Akron. Mm. Sparks. Just gotta keep going. We were on a good circulation. Oh, the main circulation was up there. We were that on thing the main was one. really ripping. We were on the main one. Damn it. I wonder if this is it. The south of town when they come out of north. I don't know, but it's obviously not the tornado. But no, but it could be part of that circulation, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it looked in, it looked interesting. Does that look for anything under a base, I guess? Outside of the main circulation, yeah. too. That's what's weird. The quick storm fire just went and did it. guys time to figure things
It's not bad. Sometimes the arrival time might be hit. Yeah. Starting grade two. Time when you get there. 358 and 44. I can easily stop before that. Oh yeah. Seven point nine miles. Turn right onto County Road R. Damn, what a line of cars! They probably all saw it too. Weird. Man, if that eastern storm just kept going. Oh. South of the circulation, was that it? That white thing? Sure. 
Is it spinning pretty good already? Right? Now we should probably stop then, right? Watch it. Might as well. Now we caught it. Everybody who actually knows how to chase. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rising motion right, right behind us. Right here. Right behind right us. Right here. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hop out. Shoot. Hop out. Man, it's spinning. You're going to want to hop. so bad for the street. I'm just getting rained on. I gave Jaden my hoodie, so I'm breathing. Oh. No, you're not. It doesn't help. The rain's coming in this way. Better than a special guest. I might do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you chase Colorado. Anything that spins, you watch it. Then they call them spinny boys. Crew all here. We got Brian Allen, and Frankie, and Jordan, and uh, Reed. <laughs> Something spinning. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> This is cold rain. Cold, cold rain. What? Cold rain, yeah. Cold rain. Yeah. Point this out the window. Thank you. Your turn. There you go. Burn. got cold. Oh. There he is. We did it, guys. There's Jane and Hunter. We got it. This is No, he was in Akron, but he didn't get it. Anyway. So we were building that beach. We were on either side of it. Did you see that thing in Akron? Or... What the hell was that little carrot? I know, right? I don't know. We got a carrot right in front of us right here. 
Yeah. Two o'clock. Ooh, yeah. Little, little whisper. We'll probably head toward Dodge City eventually and see if we can see any spinners on this, yeah. I guess. Seems to be trying to whisk something out. All right. You're pointing something out just now. What do you think about that? What? Not a fan. Not a fan of it. No, I'm not either. See, the, the velocity on this is so broad that there's like... Yeah, it's, that's the boundary. <laughs> the velocity looks uh, extremely... Yeah, it's there. It definitely is there. <coughs> Sorry. Got that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot. Oh. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely spinning here. We usually could have got a little carrot. Put a lot out there. You want to plant it next to here? We were totally next Well, that to was to our northwest. That wasn't here. What I just showed you. Oh, yeah. we still count it. <laughs> <laughs> count it. <laughs> if you lost this one, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, I didn't even think. That is a carrot, isn't it? That no. weird. Right. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Oh! Right here. Drive into it, drive into Whoa! it. Whoa! There it is! We're in it! We're in it! We're in it! We're in it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! There it is! You can see the circulation up there. No, no, no. We just jumped through it! We did. <laughs> Keep filming. Keep filming. <laughs> Uh, we didn't stream it. James <laughs> got it, bro. Oh my gosh. Is it still there? I'm gonna call him. You know, like, wait for the drive. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's still there spinning north. It's still there north. Look at that white thing. Still there spinning. See it? Look at it go. <laughs> Should have dropped it down. Yeah, drop it down. <laughs> drop it down. Damn, definitely a tornado. That's <laughs> far out. You guys. Oh, man, I hope they Wow. Jim got it from behind. He did? Wait. You think this will drop a carrot? There's a lot of rising motion there. Look at that rising motion. That is definitely a tornado. That's a tornado cyclone right there. Yeah, we can go north on the next one. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Yeah. Look at that thing, guys. It's a corkscrew up there. Good, go. It's, it's, it's probably probably soupy, but not really. It's, it's more pea ground. We can always pour high. Oh, soupy. That's Frank's, yeah. I'm gonna put a neutral, put it pour high. I don't want to end the chase either. Yeah, you're right. What do you guys think? There's a highway over there. That's yeah, let's just take that one. Yeah, it's even though it's moving due north. It might plant right in front of us. Look at that. Last we can else. creep it slow. Keep going. Keep going. They could put it in four wheel drive, four high. Yeah, but yeah, stop putting it in neutral. Yeah. And then we can just take it out and we get back to the road. Spit it in 
part, yeah, neutral that is four high. Give it a second, wait till it says it's done. It is on there. It says four by four by. Yep, you're good. That white thing, guys, watch it. Four wheel drives, you're good. Just want, it'll just yeah. kind of hop a little Feels when you get turned. What are the chances? I can't believe that. Yeah. Ooh, maybe it'll condense. That'd be sweet, wouldn't it? Probably still on the ground out there. Still convective up there. It's your tornado cyclone. explain to the stream what we just did what just happened across the road yeah we just said that debris circulation that was the base of a tornado a very weak tornado along this convective line you're looking at the circulation off to our northeast that's the wall cloud keep going north we're gonna keep going north and see if it tries to condense up here it's got a wispy funnel see that white funnel up there and it had a ground circulation with tumbleweeds and all kinds of stuff underneath it then we did get an intercept <laughs> I know. don't it no, we'll count it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, tops are evaporating on it. A lot of times they do produce at the end. It is kind of elevating a bit, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I'll just spit something out. How do it went? It's still convective now. It still looks okay. I don't want to get stuck out here. You're and sometimes it shouldn't sink down, but if it does, well, if we like fell off the road or something, it'd be over. Turning around in this be Yeah, there's you are on good county roads right now. Not sure if we, uh, you can go over two miles to be on. If people are wondering what the hell just happened, it's you know, this storm was kind of dying, but still spinning, still spinning, and they're like looking around, and then they started driving, and then they realized, and they realized that they drove through a very weak tor a very weak very momentary tornado it it was a tornado but it was it was very weak it still counts though right yeah, yeah this will take us to take it, just take it slow just take it slow yeah. yeah i know you're right just start sliding this thing you're, you're not i just don't think this is going to be capable of producing what we want to no, see no i don't either. think so either so when we, we'll just take that road and get where that truck's at. We'll get that back on the highway. Can I hand you something, Sierra? Yeah. Thank you. Squeak one out again. Yeah, just a little spinny shower. See that stretching there on the left side again? Yeah. Hey, Scott. Oh, right there, right? If you that, go right here, you can go to the highway. There was a truck that just drove through here. So. Does this look pretty good? Yeah, it takes you straight to the highway. In two miles. Oh, thank you.
just going to spare the ears a little bit. So let's look at this. This thing is still... Oh, wait. I'm at, I asked Brian if the uh, stream could see that. Yeah, just a little, a little, yeah, just a little button. A little button. They're trying to show Jordan, they're trying to show Jordan, he's putting it down, and I'm like, oh, shit. That made me feel a lot better. You guys are thinking Chef Boy RD is rough. Go storm chasing for two weeks. Your diet will be abhorrent. Your stomach will be in turmoil. It's just because you need to you need to grab whatever's available with the time you have, which is usually when you're filling up with gas and it's like the last gas station hot dog. It's no good. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just can't stop on that because it's so soft. I got such a heavy vehicle. How's it going? Hi. Because... Here. Stream? This thing's going to sling some mud. All right. Not both of us? Is that unwarned? It had a yeah. warning right at the end, didn't it? I think it was unwarned. Did anybody get footage of that? Uh, Jade might have some. I got literally the most great bit of debris. <laughs> and then I was rolling down the window trying to shoot it. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of. Yeah, I think he got it on the stream. He's definitely facing forward. Did Brian say he saw something? I texted him. Thank you, folks. Hope you enjoyed that. Kind of a consolation intercept there. And now we got a major outbreak happening tomorrow. Western Oklahoma, southwest Kansas, all the way up to southwestern Missouri. It was leaking on the air too. Yeah. Brian said a bit. He said definitely was like a bird. Oh yeah, it was a fart. We'll get some flux based on that. What if he got it on the train? But yeah, he said definitely not. He said a bit. A bit? Yeah. Go Is that a yes or a no? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit. He didn't take up the last part because he didn't expect it. So. Yeah, I didn't expect either. I wasn't rolling anything. What if Frankie got it? Yeah. I just kind of enjoyed that one, didn't you? That was funny. It? Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was kind of funny more than anything. Can I straight here? This is it. Go straight. Oh, this is it. Okay.
Brian said, just to tickle pickle to end the day. <laughs> we'll call it a tickle pickle. I like that better than burger burger. Yeah. Trying to see it? Just waiting to see it. Okay. <laughs> Tickle pickle. All right, guys, we're headed down to Western Oklahoma, Dodge City. Some of the new rat model has a long tracker from Western Oklahoma all the way to southwestern Missouri. So we're going to head that way. Probably had five or six hours to turn our target. We're going to get a quick sleep, and then tomorrow is the real deal. Hit that notification bell, dominate that like button. This is Team Dominator here. We did it. You got part of it, yeah. yeah. It's hard to see because you're bounced there, but I sound like a bunch of kids. You got a hiss throwing. Right of your mouth. Look at hold on, ready? There goes three right there on the outside and then it <laughs> <laughs> knocked that phone the cone down. Did it? <laughs> Shot too wide. <laughs> the other day. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Oh. How did it look like that? Tickle pickle. Words on three, one, two, two never stop, stop chasing. chasing. All right, if you heard him through the uh, the interference there, they're wrapping up the chase, but tomorrow is the big day. 
tomorrow is the, the day that everybody had their eye on. Again, we did get that little little pickle at the end there. It does count. Put it in the books. Um, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So until then, and I always feel weird, weird ending read stream saying this because he should be saying this, but never stop chasing. Have a good night, guys. Thank you very much.